We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWorkGaming.com and welcome to session one of our Wrath and Glory Warhammer 40k role-playing game campaign. Woo, that was a mouthful. I'd like to welcome you and all of our players, as you can see here, right, right? Okay, good. We're actually on it this time. Awesome. And uh, so we are playing a brand new <coughs> campaign. This is a new one. It's called Wrath and Glory. It came out recently. It's been out for a few months, PDF form, and then the rule book actually came out. This is the special one. Yeah, he, he gets the special one. I get one. the special one. We get right, Luca. I get the special We're one. We're just plebs. Deal with it. Right. Deal with it. Okay. And uh, so I've got a, a few announcements I want to make first, but just this is the new <laughs> Warhammer 40k role playing game system. Ooh. And yeah. I was going to say, based in the current. Uh, uh, history timeline of 40k. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It actually has the the lore in here that's at 42k. Right. Although you can still play Dark Heresy in 42k. Like there's nothing. Yeah. Like all those old. I games. guess you could use that for. Uh, there's really no Heresy. reason, right? You just you have the lore in some other book. And you do whatever you want. But no, this this one has the updated lore for the current Warhammer 40k universe. And so we're going to be doing a series with uh, these five players. On my left and your front is we got Aaron. Luca and Kenny. And then on my right, we've got Josh and Vito. But no vest. No vest today. No vest? Wash day. It's wash day. You gotta wash the vest someday. Yeah, right? You gotta oh, keep that alive. Been your thing. You could have just had this dirty vest you wore for a <laughs> <laughs> Never wash it. <laughs> that would have been Luca's thing if he was doing it. I would have been amazing. I would have been. I would love that. Yeah. I would have insisted on changing the seats. You were going to say seats. filthy, weren't you? <laughs> so I have a few companies that I have to thank right off the bat. First is Ulysses, which is the uh, company that made Wrath and Glory. They supplied us with everything that we have. All the books, the cards, the the poker chips that you use for Wrath and Ruin. Um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, there's going to be a DM screen they're going to be sending me soon as well. Uh, what else oh, did yeah. we get? We got... Uh, yeah, we got some mats as well that we won't be using because they're glossy and so the camera just can't see them, but they do have all these available currently in uh, lots of different places. You can check online, your local gaming store might carry it. It's just started to come out physically. Uh, the PDF's been available and you can get that easily as well as the Dark, I also got the Dark Tides campaign book. Now we're not doing the Dark Tides campaign, but I've pulled a lot of stuff from it for the one that we're doing. And then I'm doing a homebrew mixed with stuff that's in here. Just so you know, in case you are wanting to read or not read what's in that book based on what we're doing. How long this uh, campaign is going to be, I have no idea. I My initial thought is six to eight weeks, but as I've been designing it, I'm not sure if it'll end up being much longer than that. Meaning, like, it will, I'm thinking it'll actually end up being longer than that. Um, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Also, a big, huge shout out to Battle Systems. Battle Systems is actually one of our official sponsors for this campaign. They sent us a bunch of uh, their terrain. Now, Battle Systems, you know what, if you want to switch over to... I want to just uh, put some of that out there. If you want to switch over to the, uh, the the game cam, and you can see some of these. I don't know if you want to kind of look over that Vito build screen there. Hey, Vito. Yeah, so it's basically, I don't know if cardboard's the right word. I don't know, what would you use? Some sort of hardboard, cardboard terrain. It's all pre-textured and pre-painted, and so you just have to assemble it together, which isn't... Terribly hard. It's like those little toy airplanes you got when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah. And um, the reason I was really interested in their stuff was because I wanted. For, we're going to be playing a lot of this in, or maybe all of it, inside of a spaceship. So I wanted a lot of interior stuff. And so there's a lot of stuff they had for that. And so they are one of the sponsors of this one. So Battle Systems, you can check them out. I'm not sure if we'll be using any of it today. A chair. But uh, a little chair. It's all. It's really cool stuff. It's really cool stuff. <coughs> so big thank you to them. Also, the music you're hearing right now is provided by Sirenscape through their science fiction app. They have a fantasy player and a science fiction player. And I'm actually more excited to use their sci-fi player than I was to use their fantasy for D&D &D because there's a lot of really good um, sci-fi stuff. There's a lot of good fantasy stuff too, but I just found myself using the same three or four. But going through the sci-fi one, I found tons that I like to use. So you'll be hearing a lot of that. Right now we're listening to Freedom City 2525, music for the 26th century. It's off by, you know, 39,000 years. <laughs> Wait, no, 37, uh, whatever, 38,000, 39,000 years, whatever. An amount of time. A large amount of millenniums, millennia, but that is okay. 
Uh, and of course, I'll probably be using some of the music from tabletopaudio.com, so thank you to them. And whenever we show terrain and stuff, I'll make sure to uh, mention who the companies that those are from as well. Okay, I think that's it. Did I forget anything? If you're watching this live, we are going to be streaming this live every Tuesday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard <coughs> Time, and then posting it afterwards on YouTube the following Friday, unless something goes wrong. But the, the aim would be to, show, to post it on the following Friday. If you want to support the stream, if you want to see us do more, then uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can become a Twitch subscriber. A Silver Vault member will show us that you're looking for the, the streaming stuff. Or you can donate through Bits or donations through Streamlabs, all those available. Uh, but whether you're on the stream or watching it afterwards, those are ways that you can help support us doing this specifically. That is it. I don't want to spend too much time on pre-game stuff. So before, you know what, I'm going to wait to introduce your characters. We're going to introduce your characters at a certain point. Let's just start with the story. What's wrong? What? Nothing. What I miss? Nothing. Nothing. Vino can make a strange noise with his mouth. Mean Lucas, the Lucas trying to do it. The water sound? Yeah. I'm killing it. I was killing it. Because <laughs> of your beard. Your beard's getting in the way. Do it. No, I already, I've already done as much as I can today. <laughs> you got a limit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's exhausted as a You need a long rest <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's before all you can do it again? It's all done. I'm sorry. I, I should have been a little more careful or at least cons consider it, I guess. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so our campaign starts on the planet Belatov Prime. Oh, I hate Belatov Prime. It reminds me of uh, Caraxes 9. <laughs> You're not even here yet. <laughs> he wants that ref back. <laughs> oh, ref. I don't even have that objective. <laughs> <coughs> it's okay. Bellatov Prime, you're not going to see much of anyways. We're going to be talking about it for about five minutes, and then we're going to be moving on to the real location that is all happening. So you are all on Bellatov Prime for whatever reason you happen to be. We'll go over that. Um, soon not to be on Bellatov Prime anymore, because you're actually all being currently transported as prisoners to Destiny, which is the name of a Karak-class transport ship. <laughs> oh, wait, I see you didn't use the name I suggested then. I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> no, we didn't. Yeah, it's called Destiny. A throbbing vein. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? No, this is not it! <laughs> Wasn't it? It was something vein. It was the indomitable vein or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was something ridiculous. This was like the first thing that people have heard you say, you know? <laughs> I thought it was the throbbing <laughs> It was something dumb vein. Yeah, no, we didn't, we didn't use that. It's the Destiny, a Karak class <laughs> transport ship. Nice. Right. And you're all being transported there together. You're in the current. You're on the same Arvis lighter. <coughs> um, there's about, you know, a dozen people in there, and you're all in your prison garb. You can see crates nearby with all your gear, and you're all shackled and to your seats, your hands in front of you. And there are guards all around you, brandishing their auto guns and their carapace mm. armor looking all tough and just staring at y'all as you are heading up there. So you're brought into orbit, to low orbit, and then you dock onto the ship Destiny. <coughs> Which, uh, anybody here know what a Carrick class transport ship was, or is? I didn't know before this. I would assume... It's, <coughs> it's an Imperial, well, I'm assuming the, our rogue trader friend here knows what it is. Oh, 100%. Um, <laughs> But it is basically a, an Imperial transport, an Imperium transport. It's roughly two kilometers in length. Of course so it is. One of the smaller <laughs> ships um, has a crew of about 18,000 people. Right. Crammed into it's modest. It's, it's a, it, that's a small ship. A modest crew. It's a transport ship, though. That's all you really know. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. You might discover more, obviously, as, as, you, are, um, as you get to explore it. Or not, as you stay near as you stay in your brig for the whole time. And you are being transported to a penal colony. <coughs> and we'll get to the reasons why in just a moment. Um, it was in orbit around Belatov Prime for a few weeks as it unloaded its cargo and picked up new shipments. Obviously prisoners being part of that. So as the five of you are sitting in your Arvis lighter and looking around at each other, this is when we'll quickly describe each of you. Obviously the gear you're currently wearing is just prison garb. What color is it? Just... Orange, orange, you know, your typical prison garb. Just a, it's an orange <coughs> jumpsuit. Hard to stealth in. Yes, it, it's, it's an orange jumpsuit, basically. Nice. And you each have a number that you can make up if you like. Oh, 88, uh, 34, uh, dash 92. 
Okay. Can you Make sure you write that down. 8834 dash 92. Oh, smart. So let's go around the room and describe what everybody else sees, and then we'll <coughs> actually talk about your archetype. And um, <coughs> you don't have to say the reason why you're here yet. We'll, we'll get to that soon. We're going to have a place where we're going to do that. But I just want to get a visual idea of what everybody <laughs> looks like. So talk more. Mention your name, <coughs> what your archetype is, and then what you look like. Okay. So let's start with Erin. Okay. So she is Abigail Nevermore, who is a scum ganger. And what you see, besides the orange jumpsuit, would be like very pale skin, dark hair, a little bit of tattoo showing up around the side of the neck, because she's a ganger. <laughs> Okay. Anything, <coughs> anything else notable about her features? Her hair color? Her... I said it was black. Oh, you said it. Yeah. Okay. Pale skin, dark black hair. Long or long black hair, short black hair? Um, kind of long. <laughs> kind of long, like shoulder length kind of thing? Sure. Pulled back in a ponytail, probably? <laughs> uh, I think it's a bun. In a bun. It's a bun. <laughs> bun. <laughs> the model. Oh, like the model. Like, it's like a low bun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do I look like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have like a low bun. Yeah. Okay, Luca. <clears throat> All right, I'm Wilfric. I am uh, an inquisitorial acolyte. I was... Uh, uh, we don't need your background yet. That's right. I was gonna say, <laughs> uh, what do you look like? Well, I look like a Fenrisian human. So I am pale of skin. I am, I got a broken jaw too from a previous experience. Very notable broken jaw. So kind of like, which way is it shifted? To the left or the right? Uh, it's to the left for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. And he's, I'm, I'm, I'm much older. I'm, a, I'm, well, I guess I'm probably around uh, 90 to 100. I've had a lot of juvenile treatments. You good? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here you go. Uh, my character is uh, Kenye Von Castellan. <laughs> Kenye? Yeah, well, Kenye. I realized it was better. Kenye. <laughs> uh, he's a rogue trader. <clears throat> uh, his mother was nocturne born, so I'm ebony of skin, red of eye. Cool. Bald of hair. <laughs> and uh, average height, average build. But you can tell by the way he walks that he's used to having money. He's got an affluent walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Like a very important <clears throat> kind of thing. You'd imagine him going like, cheeks. my daddy will hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Josh. Okay, so uh, I am Trooper Constantine, uh, hmm. Tempesta Scion. Uh, kind of big build. Young, young kid though. You know, this was uh, he's a recent uh, recruit. So. Like, yeah, like super young, like 18, 19 uh, kind of young. Like nineteen. Yeah. So, so very young, very kind of zealous, loyal to the emperor. Uh, like I said, big build, big tall, kind of bulky kid. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, my character's name is Dutch. Uh, he is a swole man. Right. Uh, he's about, uh, I'd say. 6'11", very tall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very tall. Yeah. They uh, they had to actually cut off the um, the, sh the sleeves off his jumpsuit because his, his muscles are so they big. They couldn't find one that fit him? No. He just no. like flexed him. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, 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 just ripped. They had to cut them? <laughs> uh, he's, an, he's an Imperial Guardsman uh, from Katachan. And uh, so he's got like the um, standard kind of like uh, military kind of haircut. He's essentially Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you picture Arnold Schwarzenegger and you got it. Yeah, exactly. A younger one, obviously. And he, yeah, and he's got the, the permanent uh, five o'clock shadow for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Never has to shave, it's just always there. Yeah. Gotta love that in movies where it's like they always their hair is always perfectly gelled. Yeah. Or, you know, it's all it's always nice. Yeah. And they're like trucking through the trekking through the jungle or something. It's all augmentics. <laughs> yeah, he's right in the middle of the jungle with the perfect five o'clock shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so as the Arvis Lighter is approaching the Karak class Imperium transport, is there anything that you guys want to say or do? You're you're very well shackled. Attempting to break free or come out of there obviously is not an option. But uh, any interaction that you want to try, I'm gonna keep it cool, a nice relaxed <coughs> posture, like I don't care, and everything's gonna be fine. I'm I'm following his lead. Right. Yeah. yeah. We have read a previous work experience together. Uh, yes. I, I got him in this situation. <laughs> or maybe he got himself in this situation uh, through, I guess. We'll find out. Poor performance. <laughs> okay. Nobody wants to do anything then? That's fine. You don't have to. So it's uh, it only takes about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, for the Arvis Lighter to reach the, the transport. And uh, you can't see out of it, of course. There's no windows, there's no viewing ports. But you can feel the deceleration, you can feel the, the zero-g-ness at this point as, uh, as you've entered orbit. 
and then all of a sudden the gravity activating as you know and you can hear the sounds around you the the the, the hollow clanking sounds and the, the thud as the the lighter <coughs> lands somewhere and all of a sudden artificial gravity is in place and you're brought back down into your seats fully and you can just, you can feel the full weight of whatever you're having not quite full it's probably at like 90 percent of your weight so you feel a little lighter here than you did down on the surface uh, you can and you can hear just the sounds of, of noise. Uh, like the there's 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 voices. There's <coughs> machinery. Um, all sorts of things. So let's see if this one will actually work for that. I didn't listen to this one beforehand. Yeah, that works. I'm experimenting a lot with the crates of a techno beat going on. <laughs> yeah, the, um, I'm getting loaded up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that pretty, that'd be pretty intimidating. You know, you hear the sound of the uh, uh, you get lighter, out. you're just like, uh. So then the back of the Arvis lighter opens up. It's kind of like in Con. This is what they played in Con Air, wasn't it? When they're getting all the prisoners loaded up. <laughs> yeah, essentially. And so as you're all, you're all then the your your bindings are released from your your chairs so that you're able to walk. But you do have bindings on your on your ankles, keeping mm-hmm. your feet close together, and those are chained up to your hands as well. <clears> so you have very limited motion. Uh, and you even have them then bound to something around your waist as well. So you have very, very limited motion of how you can move your hands. We're talking like 40,000 years of tried and true method. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we know this works. Uh, you also notice a little power source on your belt that is attached to the entire binding system as well. That you, you, what you know to be a, a shock system in place if they ever needed to incapacitate you. It's smart. Um, so you're, you're all led. Uh, you're, you're basically the, the guards stand up and they have you go out first and as you walk out you walk into this huge cargo bay probably half a kilometer <coughs> long it's, it's got to be oh, it's, it's, it's several stories tall like it's, it's huge as you look around you can see other Arvis lighters landing and uh, you can see other larger um, shuttles bringing in uh, cargo as well you can see they're, they're very busy they're, they're obviously at the their cargo loading and um, aspect or the, the time frame of their departure. So you see huge servo haulers dragging big crates. As you look around and just kind of quickly glance, you see all sorts of things. You see uh, vehicles kind of stacked in shelving. You see big crates stacked up high. You see a lot of smaller crates as well. You can hear a lot of yelling. There's people currently welding certain areas. Uh, there's 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 got to be Hundreds, if maybe even over a thousand people near you, all <coughs> just busy working. And as you look at the other Arvis lighters, you see there's a lot of other prisoners being brought on, and some of them are already being brought away to other areas. Um, quite, quite a few prisoners just for a regular transport. Um, and you're, so you're just one of many. And you can see other Arvis lighters. If you look behind you, where the where the bay is open, you can see other lighters coming and getting ready to land as well. And so it, you all line up. And it's not very long before they shout at you and they, they command you to, to, to move forward. Um, and remember, at any point as I'm narrating, you're free to ask me any questions or to say if there's anything that you want to do. So don't just wait for me to finish my narration before you think that you want to do anything to act. Are we all on, are we all in like single file line near each other? Yeah. I guess five. Yeah, you, you five are together. <coughs> it, there's, there are other prisoners nearby being brought in, but you are, this is the your, your group. This is our little reason for the five of you to be together. Are we shackled together as well, or just all individual? Individual. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Each with their own power source in their belt. Um, each with your own set of shackles. Can I try to save my power source? Um, you're just gonna, gonna mess with it right in front of them? Well, not right in front of them. <laughs> you wanna try to do it stealthily? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Space bird. One second. Look, a space bird! Beetle, you're out. It's early on. Get warmed up. <laughs> That's only one second. Well, there's going to be a couple of tests that you're going to have to do for that. First will be a stealth test to see if you are unnoticed. And then the second will be a tech test, obviously with some disadvantage, with uh, extra difficulty because of that. Um, so let's do your stealth test first. Perfect. Now you've got a lot of lot of noise going on around you. So what kind of moment would you want to wait for in order to try this? Probably when the doors are opening, I would think. That'd probably be really noisy, wouldn't it? 
Yeah. Well, yes. it's, it's noisy in, in, now that you're in the like car. Like, more so. Everybody's yelling to talk to each other. Yeah. Nobody, you can't, if you were just to talk <clears> at a normal <throat> volume, nobody would hear you. Yeah, but so I figure if the doors are opening, the guards are probably watching that. So you're still in the Arvis later as you're about yeah. to get out? And you start to toy with it at that point? Yeah. Okay, so give me a stealth roll. We're going to make it difficult, though. It's going to be, I'm going to make it a moderate difficulty of four. Four? Okay. So, Aaron is about to do a stealth roll, which is based on, what is it, agility? Yep. So what she does is she looks at her agility and her stealth, and she adds those two numbers together, which are uh, three. Woo! So three uh, and zero. Yeah. So you just basically you, you, <laughs> I have you no didn't stealth. buy. You have no stealth. So your agility uh. is three. That means she's going to roll three dice. One of which has to be a wrath die, because yep. that tells us if there's any complications. <clears throat> every four plus that she rolls is a uh, what they call an icon, and every six counts as two icons. She needs to get four total. So in other words, with only three dice, she's going to. It's going to be hard. <laughs> she's going to need some sixes in there. So go ahead. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Any complications? No, no complications or anything. Okay, so she didn't roll enough of them. And you do have, each player has two wrath. One of the things they can use a wrath for is to re-roll any of those failed ones. It but you can't re-roll <laughs> complication dice, unfortunately. If you roll a complication, that one stays. Uh, okay, so as you start to toy with it, one of the guards looks over at you and goes, Hey, what are you doing? And you see him pull out a little data pad. And you all of a sudden feel a jolt. This, uh, electric energy just pound right through you, uh, which feels quite ag agonizing. And right off the bat, you are going to take one shock hey. and uh, one mortal wound from that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to choose this moment to try and take the device off of whoever's behind me. The, sh the, <laughs> the belt thing? The power source? Oh, at this point, <laughs> you're still in the Arvis lighter. Yeah. So it's the next person next to you? Well, yeah, whoever's. <laughs> you're going to try to take off the person next to you? It's on our left hip, right? Uh, it's on your right hip. Right hip? Then whoever. It's just, still... it's just a thing about this big. It's attached really well. Like it's clearly attached it's not really well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you look at it, it's attached to the chains and the belt that you're wearing. It doesn't look like something you can just pluck off. Darn. Like it, it looks quite well. Then I well will try secured. and disable it stealthily, <laughs> but for that person, not me. Well, who's the person next to you? Yeah, it looks like. Uh, me. You tell me. <laughs> no, you tell me. I'll sit in the center. Who wants their de device maybe disabled, but also you might get shocked. <laughs> No one? It's Luca. It looks like it's... <laughs> <laughs> I, figured, I didn't say anything because I figured it was Okay, so be because <laughs> there's currently an altercation going on, I'll give you a plus one die to the same stealth test of difficulty four. Sure. So it's basically, if there's a bonus, you get extra dice. If there's a penalty, the difficulty goes up. Rarely do you lose dice or have the difficulty go down. It does happen. I don't know what's going to happen. So, how many, so what is your total stealth? Uh, my total stealth is five. Two from skill, three from agility. So three agility, two stealth. Yeah. So you actually have the stealth skill. Yes. All right, so you get six dice in total, including the Wrath Die. The Wrath Die is yours? one of the six. You don't add on a Wrath Die. Yeah. And you need four. I do. I believe. Eight. Oh, gonna, you I'm also failed. I do. <laughs> okay, so as the guard is currently <laughs> agonizing um, uh, Abigail, he looks over to you and sees you trying to mess with somebody who's next to him. And it's like, oh, what do you think you're doing, man? <laughs> At the same time, I shift away. You're like, oh. And you take two shock damage and one mortal wound. I deserve this. Now, yes, if, you're, you if you're wondering, like, mortal wounds and wounds, if they take a wound, they can do something called a soak action, where they can they, they have wounds and you have shock. You can kind of think of shock like your fatigue and your wounds as your wounds. If you take a soak action, you can possibly take any damage that you now take and hard. take shock instead, because shock is a lot easier to get back. Um, but if it's a mortal wound, then you cannot soak that. It's called soaking, basically. Yeah. Anybody else want to try to mess with their restraints? Nope. <laughs> We're all for that was a pretty good, good show, I think. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm glad we got to see what they did. All together. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, like a From prison song? Care of you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Okay, so now we're past <clears throat> the lighter. We're back into the cargo bay as you guys are being taken there, as you're looking around. Is there anything you want to do as you're being walked through the cargo bay? No. Other than just eyeing down the area to keep notes for later. Yeah, the two of you can still feel yeah. the buzz and like the, the tips of your fingers are numb. <clears throat> and Maybe. where and, and because it didn't it didn't actually shock you right where the thing is. It actually shocked you through the entire thing. So oh, your yeah. your feet are a little numb. You're having a harder time walking a little bit. Uh, you're stumbling a bit forward. It has no lasting effects other than the shock and the wound damage that you took, of course. Uh, sorry, what did you say you wanted to do? I'm just playing it cool, observing my surroundings. You observing your surroundings? The time will come, right? 
<laughs> yeah. The time will come. In fact, I want the name of that guard who shocked me. <laughs> there are no name badges on ask him. Yeah, I'm going to ask him for his name. I'm going to persuade him to tell me it. I'm going to tell so You can tell me you're going to do that, but I want you to actually do it. Uh, so, okay, so he's like, Oi, what are you doing? And he just shocked you. Yeah. And you feel a lot of pain. And, and then months. afterwards, I'm going to huff and puff and be like, What's your name? <laughs> oh. give, give me your name. What's it to you? I'm going to tell my daddy on you. <laughs> Oh, your daddy's not going to help you here, boy. I disagree. Tell me your name. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been the man who released me, but now you're the man who shocked me and caused me ouchies. I'm telling my dad. All right, give me an intimidation roll. <laughs> intimidation. Yeah, ouchies. Ouchies, yeah. I'm telling my dad. All right, that's terrifying. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so first off, what is your intimidation? Well, uh, it's based off of fellowship, so yep. four. Because your fellowship is four? Yeah. So you don't have intimidation, in other words. No. So you're not a very intimidating guy. No. no. Uh, is there anything soft. about you that would be intimidating? Has he ever seen a nocturne board man more. before? Ah, uh, that's true. Your appearance, um, because of the red eyes and stuff, and the obsidian skin. I look like a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about it. Like, you see a man like that in real life, his eyes are like neon red. He does look evil. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're like that's a, that's not a good guy. That's okay, I'll give you a, I'll give you a bonus die because of that. It's still it's going to be hard difficulty though because you are essentially to him a nothing scary. A nothing about scary. Me, yeah. So we're gonna make it a difficulty five. Some young boy can do. Yeah, you got to roll well. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I get. Uh, so you a roll six a on six wrath. on the wrath die, which gets you a glory in the middle. That doesn't give you any additional benefits. Blink. If you rolled extra sixes, you can shift them to make the extra benefits. Five. <laughs> <coughs> so you, he kind of looks at you, and you can see him kind of think about it for a second, and just and he, then he laughs. He's oh. like, one second here. I'm going to give you a name. Yes. He's joking. He's, he's not going to give it to you because you scared him because he thinks you're <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> I'm going to make a note here. My name is Joey. Joey, Joe, Joe. We'll, we'll and get you're going to be seeing me. We'll looking for revenge later. John Johnson. Brander. 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 B-R-A-N-D-R. <clears throat> You'll be seeing a lot. There's no E-R. It's just R at the end. Brander. With an accent. Brander. There's no accent. Oh, there's there is now. now. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey, he just laughs. He's like, <laughs> I like you, kid. Brander. All right. But you're going to space jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Okay. I mean, so now you're being led through the cargo bay. Jail. So as we're being led through the cargo bay, can I see where they're taking our equipment? Or the the equipment bay? is actually with you right now. Okay. It is still currently with you. You can see that there is a, a small servo hauler currently carrying a few crates of what you knew was at least your equipment's in it. You're not sure about uh, that. Okay. Um, but it's still currently with you. It's being it's being driven behind you. So basically, there's you. There's a couple guards in front of you. There's a couple guards behind you. Brander is in front, and a few hundred people around us, and probably over a thousand people around you, yeah, so including there's... lots of other guards, <coughs> technicians, workers, what's, what's, servitors. Uh, what, what's that? What's the square footage of this hangar? Well, I already said it's about half a kilometer long. Okay, it's so packed. How tall is it? I already said that too, man. You gotta listen. Several stories tall. Okay. Like you can see, there's gantries up higher. There's walkways. If you look straight up, you see there's even walkways right on top. Uh, you're on the main level right now as you're walking, and you can see the huge, some big servo haulers unloading what look like shipping crate it's like size. A, it's like a warehouse. Like a right. yeah, it, it looks like a cargo bay, but like a huge cargo bay. Which this is, you can guess this is a, probably one of the main cargo bays for the transport. Now I need one more measurement to complete my equation. What's the width? <laughs> Volume's you really important here. Yeah, volume's important. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably at least two to three hundred meters. Okay, good. So you're looking for s square meters? <laughs> and square what's, kilometers? What's the square footage here, bud? Uh, you make, you make well, since it, it's, it's several stories tall, <laughs> it's about half a kilometer long and it's somewhat wide. It's pretty big. The volume is, <laughs> the volume is large. <laughs> it is large. It's large, cubed. Yeah, remember the, remember the entire ship is two kilometers long, and this thing is about half a kilometer long. So it's a good length of the ship. Right. You, your guess there might be another one on the other side. Or I maybe, would. Yeah. Ooh. Well, you've, that's a transport right. ship, right? It's Redundancy is key. There's a lot of cargo cargo holds. Yeah. <clears throat> I assume somebody in the comment section has already pointed out what the volume of this. Yeah, but it wasn't exact measurements. Oh, 
Yeah. Good, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> well, Alright, you just multiply the three of them together. You're well, done. Half, yeah, let's half, multiply uh, half several a, stories tall. <laughs> and like about half a kilometer. <laughs> It's during these conversations that we jump the guards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guards was the <laughs> Prison riot. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do as you're being walked? You're currently, you're almost through the cargo hold. You can see they're bringing you to um, a, a very large hallway. Well, right now, one of the one of the many passageways off of the cargo bay. Not gonna happen. No, that was not a good time. No, <clears throat> it's when we're alone in the hallway that it's a good time. Mm. We brutalize them. Make, make them miss their mamas. <laughs> But not Brander. No, he goes in the prison. <laughs> you guys are something else. <laughs> okay, so you exit the the um, the cargo hold and you go into um, one of the, one of the many side passageways. Uh, this one's actually quite wide. Um, it's probably like ten people wide if you were to look at it that way. I don't have an exact square footage for you. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I'm, the first time is it. And once again, it's very, it's still very busy. It's actually quite packed. You can see it's with, with 18,000 crew in this area, obviously there's always a lot of people around you. And it's a maze as you're being brought through it. Uh, they're bringing you through all sorts of different corridors. There's, once again, the, the variety of types of people that you see cross your path is quite interesting. It's what you'd, ex you're, you're, you probably all are used to it to some degree. They're having lived in a high city or having been on a ship before. <coughs> uh, you see some of the regular crew, you see some of the indentured crew, which are ones that are more shackled, but still uh, doing their duties. You see like the servitors, uh, not, not shackled like that, but I mean like you can tell that they are, they have like shock collars and yeah. things to keep them in line. And they're sweeping the holes. Um, yeah, <laughs> you just, yeah, sweeping the floors. Um, you still see some, this is actually wide enough that some servo haulers will actually, they, they pass you, and they, they things going back and forth. You see servo skulls is whirring here, there's tons <coughs> of servo skulls actually, just constantly moving around, delivering messages or whatever it is that they're trying to do. Uh, eventually you're brought into um, what appeals, appears to be some sort of adeptus administratum room, some sort of records room. As you walk in, Uh, it's, a, it's it's still a very busy place. There's a there's there's several there's several desks, but desks isn't the right word to describe what you see in a Deptus Administratum place. They more look like thrones, all throughout. Uh, as you're looking around, it's a it's a semicircle of thrones, one big one right in the middle, and behind each of these thrones, you can see uh, 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 there's a, a scribe <coughs> of some sort in the heavy garb of the Deptus Administratum. And uh, right around them, you can see several servo skulls floating, with some of them providing light, others providing instruments that they're grabbing. And they're all hastily writing down things, taking reports of cargo as uh, people are delivering them. Servo skulls appear, uh, come to them delivering data slates and, and other things. And they're just very busy. And you can see that as you enter, there are prisoners in front of you, currently at the one in the center, at the large throne. And you can overhear the, the record keeper taking their, their names and writing stuff down and, and dictating which cells they're going to be and they're going to go to. Hmm. Uh, so it's not long before it is your turn and you're brought up to this record keeper. Um, so he's, he's there busy scratching with his electro pen on, scratching on his paper as everything is, all this busyness is going <coughs> around him. He, he seems very, he, he barely, ever, he barely looks up at you as he, he talks out. You can hear there's a bit of a, a Vox uh, enhancing his, his voice as well, whether there was an injury there before or whether it's just some sort of augment, you're not quite sure. Um, and he, and he, just, he just kind of looks up for a moment, he sees the guards, and the guards kind of part, and the, the five of you are brought in a line in front of him. <coughs> and he's like, all right, let's make this quick. And each of, you, each of your names and the reasons that you are here. And the guard will provide the reason that you're here, obviously, but I'm going <coughs> to let you um, talk about that at this point. So we're going to actually go reverse order this time. Nice. Starting with Dutch. No, I'm in the middle. <coughs> Go ahead, Vito. Oh, uh, so just declare my name. Yep. Uh, my name is Dutch. Do you want to know the reason why I'm here? Yeah. No. Uh, I'm convinced, or convinced, I'm convicted of killing my commissar. Oh, he's just, he's just scratching things down. I and mean, the, the guards give a itemized list of your gear that they confiscated. Mm -hmm. He jots it down as well. Okay. Next. Trooper Constantine, 94th Hellgas Rifles. Um, I guess the, 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 the reason that this misguided guard would give that I'm here is that uh, 
I was uh, part of a uh, kill team sent to apprehend the captain of the ship due to charges of uh, heresy. Inquisition matter. So I wasn't sure if you give the actual answer or just like a kind of made up, like we're just imprisoning these people because cause I wasn't sure how many people are, you know, on the bad or on the good here. So they're probably lies to the administrator. So you wouldn't let them know that you're from the Inquisition, basically. <clears throat> right. I was, I was, my character would, I, was, I, I plan on just saying, or the guard is the guard speaking on my behalf while I'm here? Yeah, the guard. <laughs> the guard has the reason that you were arrested, but I'm having you guys say it because you're introducing the reason your characters are oh, here. No. Basically, makes sense. Oh, so tell the truth and not tell the truth. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It, yeah, 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 I, I know. guess tell, you're making up tell, the guards. Tell no. the audience first off the real reason you're there, okay, and, then and then you can tell them what the guards would know. Like this oh, is your chance to, dic- to to give the background of your character. Okay. So if you want to, do you want to say anything more than what you just said? Yeah, he was just convinced of, uh, or convinced, he's convicted of killing um, his commissar, which he did, uh, as most Katachans are known for doing. And that's uh, why he's uh, he's here. He's been arrested. Constantine would look horrified <laughs> when he heard about that. By the books, man. Okay. Oh boy. Next. Yep. Uh, Kenya East von Castellan. Uh, I'm here because. I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is your backstory. I know, I shouldn't have done it. Uh, my character got drunk with this rogue trader because I demanded passage with my writ of passage and he thought it was funny that I tried to force him to give me passage. It's and not actually a rogue trader, this is an imperial ship. Well, whatever, the rogue trader. The, the captain of the yeah, ship, basically. Yeah, the captain. You, you, you somehow met the captain of the ship in some dive bar. Yeah, in as, the high city. as of course I would. And then uh, I got drunk said I wanted to know what it was like to live the peasant life because everyone always calls me a little daddy's boy, little rich boy, and uh, uh, now I'm in the brig. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're just slumming it? No, oh, I... This wasn't exactly my choice. I thought he'd make me wash the floor or something. And I can't think of how he's going to... Tw- uh, impersonating a rogue trader. What do you want? Right. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> yeah. That'll, that'll get you killed. Yeah. It's dangerous. I'm being murdered now. <laughs> you are being brought to a penal colony. <laughs> That's not a good thing. You'll probably get murdered. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. If you get there. <laughs> if we get there. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, for my character, uh, what, I, um, what I'm actually here for is uh, an old retired veteran uh, mercenary that got brought in with the Inquisitor. So I work for the Inquisition now. I work for an Inquisitor in particular. And um, he's chasing leads, and I was sent towards this lead about a captain of a ship, or a rogue. Tra- in this case, it's a captain of a ship. It's not a rogue trader we're dealing with, right? Yeah, it's just an imperial captain. Okay, so it's a low-ranking imperial captain. I'm dealing. I'm hunting down this lead on an imperial captain that was. Um, well, there's rumors that he was dealing in heretical trade of artifacts, and this lead would lead to <coughs> some of the inquisitors hunting down. So I came here. I found that lead, and I, I found truths to it, and I called in a force that would deal with it, but we caught caught before it got too grand scale, and it kind of fell apart. That's why we're both here. And I would assume the guy would just say, stealing. <laughs> <laughs> I am a thief. Ben, what did you steal? Oh, I stole... I was just stealing uh, goods. Uh, I, I was uh, impersonating dock workers loading up, or hangar workers loading up the ship. But I was actually loading them up on a, uh, uh, some sort of machine that just took them off elsewhere. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Now I don't know who <coughs> here is under the influence of this captain or not, and who's a, a right wing man, like who's, who's proper. So keep it cool. I can't assume everyone here is evil. <laughs> That's pretty much me. Okay. That's you. That's you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Abigail was arrested for uh, spray painting a ship. Right. One it happened to be one of the ships. Yeah. Or this one. <laughs> Just happened to be going to this one. But uh, you did your gang signs and stuff. Yeah. Got fresh prints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the reason she would give would be uh, artwork against fascism. Mm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Simple enough. Yeah. Okay. So as he jots all these things down, you can hear him. You can hear him giving orders, and he passes a data slate over to one of the servo skulls, which whirs away. And uh, that's when he he grabs the data slate and hands it to one of the guards, and he says, uh, uh, "Present these prisoners to the Alpha Brig." 
Cell block 262D. The guard nods, and then the you also, and then he hands a data slate to the other guard. He's like, "That is the location of their gear," but he doesn't say anything. And so you, the, the guard starts to escort you out, and then your gear was all outside the room; it wasn't brought in. Now you can see the servos, the hall are already going off in a different direction than what you are walking. Okay. Any questions? Any actions? Okay, it's a little too crowded, a little too, uh, a little too populated right now. Yeah. Yeah. That funny feeling. I suppose it's gonna be like throughout the whole ship. Right. Not a lot of quiet corners in the <coughs> eighteen thousand crew gotta, plus gotta, prisoners ship. Gotta but find if we can overpower him, kind of push him into a jail cell, we'll be fine for yeah. five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That'll work well. Uh, one thing you do learn while you're in there is the destination, which is a penal colony, which is a several weeks warp journey from mm. here. Oh, well. It's awful. Yeah. Uh, how many here have ever traveled that. off planet? Oh, all the time. So you, this is your planet. You've lived here your whole life. Sure. <laughs> Obviously, you're not from here. So all the four of you have all experienced warp travel before and all of this unsettling glory. So you're all familiar with... I'd say several weeks is kind of a quick one, even. It's not even that long. Compared yeah, to some. It's, it's not. You've, you've definitely <laughs> can imagine, especially as it an agent of the Inquisitor, millennia. and coming right. all the way from Katachan. Um, it's right beside Katachan. Lovely Katachan. <laughs> Where you're from is right beside Katachan? No, this place could be, though. Oh, yeah, no, that's not anywhere near Katachan. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Why is, you're so far from home, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not near Nocturne. <coughs> but it's a galaxy, right? So what is near anyways? True. Yeah. Several weeks is, is a bit of a journey, but yeah, on the galactic scale of things, it's, it's a slight move. Maybe a few thousand light years, 10,000 light years, maybe, maybe. Not even that much. But you don't know exactly where it is. You're not even given the name. Just that it is a penal colony. So you're continuing to... Br you're brought through a maze of corridors. Um, and, and at one point... You, you, you notice that there is a bit of a change and it starts to get a little more narrow and you are brought to uh, a big I don't know if we call it a double door because it's not like it opens like a double door it's, <coughs> it's kind of slides inside. yeah that, that slides <laughs> but at that you can see that there's a control panel that you recognize to be an authorization panel right off the bat and you can see that um, above it uh, they it's, it reads Alpha Brig in low gothic and and then there's a, there's a guard station right here, and there's a there's a couple guards posted out here. All the guards are kind of in the same thing. They have just a, a light carapace armor, and they're all carrying standard issue auto guns, nothing too fancy, and they all have their vox casters on as well. Um, and the as the guards come up, they hands a data the, a data slate to one of the other guards who looks at it, nods, and then turns around and and uh, types in a, 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 a keys in a password, but also plugs in. A little device that he has in his Can hand. Can I see the password you put in? Uh, give me an awareness test. We'll make it difficulty four because he is trying to conceal it. <coughs> What's your awareness? My awareness is four. Four? Yeah. Okay. We'll give you a plus one die to it because of your um, background and hacking sure. and scumbagging. Six. No. Got two. Got two? No yeah. complications? No complications. That's all right. All right, so unfortunately, he's, he does the whole, like, debit machine thing. He's like... <sighs> but then you also, you do see him from the, the data slate that he was passed. He kind of holds it up to it and plugs a part of it into it. And then you hear <coughs> the slow grinding of the doors opening up as you walk in. And you enter into the Brig area. Brig is not actually a suitable name for it. As you soon find out, this is actually quite a large prison area mm. that it seems that one of the purposes of the ship is transport of prisoners because it's not just like a few cells but you pass by dozens of cells at first and then you just keep going through more of these doors more of these authorizations more mm -hmm. guards oh my is it the same code every time or is it is I assume you don't know what the code is so it's hard right, to say yeah. um, so I wouldn't mind trying to take a little looky at the code as they're trying to punch it in alright give me an awareness yeah if we're going several times everyone, everyone should try yeah. Yeah. Try, try to can we all try it I get it with four exactly huh. okay so just jot down that you one thing you do notice as you're going through is that so what I'll tell you Josh yep. is that you notice the code to one of the panels but you, what you don't see is the code to the next panel Okay. or you, what you notice is it's different and as you're going through there's so many of oh, them no. okay. that you're not able to keep track of all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. now everybody else can try because if you shift a few dice that might be helpful oh no oh, no. oh we got a complication oh no <laughs> but I got four 
Totally That's fail. So you pass with a complication. Oh, uh, was it a five? Uh, four. Four? Yeah, I got it with... Uh, I can shift actually one of these. You no, can? three, I can't, no. No, you can't. I got it. Because you only got five. Yeah. yeah. So I got it. Okay, so you got it. So you notice the same thing as him. Um, you just <coughs> pass or you can shift? No, I just pass. So you just pass. So you notice the same thing. So you do see that there are different codes at each of them. And you also notice that the data slate that the guards, the guards are definitely holding mechanical equipment to help them be authorized as well. I think my complication should be that I think all of the passwords are the same. <laughs> Is that it? That's yeah. your whole complication? That's a bad complication. Is that a bad complication? Yeah, it is if we try and escape. It's a complication. <laughs> you mumble it out loud as you're paying attention to it. <laughs> so in, the, in, in the game, if you roll a one on the wrath die, we have what's called a complication. And you can still pass your roll and get a complication. And we, in, outside of combat, we, we go for a narrative complication so where now. the GM and the player agree to something. So I'm always going to let the players decide. If they can't come up with it, the easiest thing is that I get a wrath die. Or a wrath. But I've already got my maximum ruin. 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 I get my ruin. Sorry. I've already got my maximum of five, so we definitely want to come up with something. Okay, so you actually think, so you do pass it, and you notice the one code, and then as you're looking, you think that you notice the same code each time. You stop paying attention, basically. You're like, oh, it's the same code each time. And it's yeah, alpha, sigma, this. sigma, delta. Why alpha, sigma, sigma, delta, gamma, weird symbol, and up, upside, upside down triangle, uh, whatever it happens to be. Poop emoji. <laughs> and a happy face emoji. Um, okay. So you're, you're brought through quite a few of these. It probably takes you a good 15, 20 minutes because each of them is a stop. Oh my! There's a lot of guards. A lot in each of these, you see these <laughs> cells. The cells hold roughly five or six people in each of them. Some of them only have three, but they're big enough to hold more. Do any of the prisoners say anything to us as you're passing? Yeah. It's just your typical like you have the guys standing at the bars just looking out at <laughs> you. Yeah, the little mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the cups. <laughs> the cup. dick, 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 dick. Um, but it's also inside of a ship, so it's much more cramped than you, you like. Don't picture like a prison like you would have picture a prison nowadays. Like it's the cells. There's it, it's it's all metal. It's not concrete. First off, uh, it's much more cramped in the corridors as you're walking through it as well. Um, and you can see every it's in almost every area. There's a guard posting, but there's still some that there's not. There's more guards just passing through. <coughs> Even as you're going through this, <coughs> you can hear the shouts off in the distance as people are brought to their cells. And finally, you come to one where you see the designation 262 D um, above the door, and that's brought into that area. And so you're brought into this one section. It's a smaller section with a single cell, and the cell is currently open and empty. And um, the guards basically order you all to walk into it, still with all your shackles on. Is it still Brander? Is that? Is it still Brander? Yeah, Brander's with you. He's walked you all the way ah. here. I'm what a nice to. guy. So are we all walking into the cell? First I'm going to try and convince Brander to join us. In the cell? Uh, sure. Just to uh, help. You, you know what? You don't tell me what you're going to yeah, do. Yeah, it's, it's Do fine. what you want to do. <coughs> gonna, uh, just look at him and be like, hey, Brander? Yeah? How would you like to be promoted to Voidsman on a Rogue Traders crew? You help us get out of here? I'll put in word with my dad. He's a big time Rogue Trader. The Bon Castellans were a family from the Indominus Crusade. <laughs> Is that so, little kid? Yeah. They threw mm. money. Legitimately. <laughs> Legitimately. <laughs> he kind of looks at you. He has this, he has this look of... of he, you piqued his curiosity. But obviously convincing a guard to just give you up is going to be difficult. But what we can do here, what I'd like you to do is um, what we're going to do is see if you can build a relationship with this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's... And so currently he's in an uncooperative state. Okay. So there's actually, in Wrath and Glory, there are five states that NPCs have. Hostile, uncooperative, neutral, friendly, helpful. And this obviously dictates how willing they are to help you in certain situations. <coughs> right now he's uncooperative, which is a plus two difficulty modifier, which means I'm going to bring your, the difficulty of this task from a four to a six. Woo! So you can go ahead and do a persuasion roll. Yeah, oh, I will. Okay, and what do you got there? What, what, what trick up your sleeve do you have? Innocence proves nothing. I play it when making an interaction attack or when using an interaction skill outside of combat. I add the relevant skill again to the roll before cool. I roll. Cool. So what's your persuasion skill? For it is eight. No, no, no. What's your persuasion skill? My rating in the skill? Yeah. Four. And, what's, and so you have a four fellowship and a four? Yeah. So you're going to add that four again and you're going to get 12 dice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you get 12 dice. So go ahead and pass the card down. Rating. Yeah, that's your skill rating. And you get your wrath. Well, it doesn't say rating. That's all. What does it say? 
It's yeah, the relevant, you add the relevant skill. skill. Remember, your 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 uh, persuasions. You don't actually do a persuasion skill check. You're doing a persuasion plus fellowship test. So your persuasion is four. But whenever you're going to do a persuasion skill test, you're also going to add your fellowship. So that's why if it says add your the skill, you're adding that four again. So this is a he, everybody gets a campaign card that has something crazy like that. I think so. And they can use one. They get one of these per session. So you're going to roll twelve dice, you and you need to get. Too. And I also get a wrath. Can you have more than two wrath? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you gain a wrath. Okay. Yeah. Did you? It's just a last line. You're past that down. But now you. Yeah, you can have. Ma- there's no maximum amount of wrath that you can have because. Oh, uh, because I might need it right now. We'll find out. Right. All right. Twelve dice. Difficulty six. You should be able to get it with twelve. Because your average there should be more than six, given that six is a root two. Four, four, five, six, so six seven. Seven, but you can't shift? No. No, I cannot. You could wrath the reroll. I will use my free wrath to reroll. <laughs> <laughs> He's done to two wrath again. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'll reroll all the that. fails. Now, if he had rolled a complication, he would not be allowed to reroll that die, but he did not. Oh my. That's not bad. So oh, we got the. So you got glory. the six in your wrath die, so throw a glory in the middle. So we're up to two glory now, they're calling. Two glory. I have to think. Now, how many sixes can you shift? Two. Okay. So that's actually what I was looking for, because each shift is what improves your relationship. Ooh. Oh! So the, yeah. So we're actually able to improve him from uncooperative to friendly. <laughs> and so he looks over at you like, you know what? I like you, kid. Maybe we'll talk later. All right. Now, is everybody going to walk into their cells? Yeah. I'm yeah, like, I'll I'm, take that maybe. I'm thinking, does that mean he's just going to rat? He's just tease? Just, I, I, you know what? I just assume he's teasing the kid. Oh. I'm just going to go into the cell. Well, yeah. we'll see. Narratively, what will happen. Night Raid with batons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start beating him <laughs> like he's Shawshank. <laughs> I'll see him later in the night. <laughs> oh, no. Is anybody <laughs> not going into the cell? I'm going to Okay, I'm going to assume that you're walking into the cell unless you tell me otherwise. I'm walking into the cell. Okay. The five of you are walking into the cell. So you still have all your shackles on. You walk in. The one guard <coughs> hits a... He, he holds up his data pad to one of the panels nearby, not within reaching distance if you just put your arm out there. And then the, the cell door closes. Um, he then... That, so it's not just like bars. It's, it's more solid with just some bars. Mm. And there's a little slot location. And he has each of you come up and hold your hands through it. And uh, he uses a special key that as he touches it to it, it releases all the shackles around you. And then he just pulls the whole thing through. Uh, so we'll go through each of you. So Dutch, you come up first. You have to lean down to actually get your hands through. Yeah, because it's, so it's, tall, actually, right? it's meant for a normal sized person. In fact, the, the, the height of this room is, is barely six feet. Oh, jeez. So you're like 11 inches too tall for this room. Uh, think submarine brig. And you might get an idea. All the beds, definitely your legs are going to be hanging over the edge. Uh, in, so, you, so you lean down, you unshackles it. And then we've got, um, I'm trying to remember everybody's names. I should have written it down. Dylan. Dylan. But no, Con- Constantine. That is what the command says. Constantine. No, let's go over to him. Constantine gets his unshackled as well. And then we have Kanye. I'm happy to get mine unshackled. I'm pretty sure I'm going places. <laughs> is it the same guard who's doing it? Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not um, Brander though. Brander's currently the one over there, just pressing the buttons to make everything happen. And then uh, we got Wilfrick. Nice. He comes over and gets his unshackled. And then Abigail, lastly, get yours unshackled as well. Thanks, Peg. <laughs> he just looks at you and kind of snarls. And they all walk away. Snarls one of the guards, not Brander, is left behind, just standing on <coughs> the doors. Um, as you look around your room, it's uh, obviously not very big. Let me give me a second right here. <clears throat> so the, the room is not very big uh, There are six beds in total There's basically three bunks um, One along one wall Sorry, two along one <coughs> wall and one on the end But each of them are uh, they're, they're like singles So mm. even, even a regular sized human would have a hard time These things are maybe Not like once again, not even six feet long um, So obviously And they're all very narrow as well Think of like Honestly, if you think about like those bunks that hang off the side in a in a submarine, that's very similar to what these are. So if you lie inside of it, you've got like not even a foot of clearance. Very claustrophobic. Um, mm-hmm. On the other side of the room, if there if you could call it the other side, really it's just you know, four feet, five feet away. Mm-hmm. There is a long bench, and that's where you get to sit. So uh, and you would be able to sit in your beds because it's just too little space between all of them as well. 
Um, so that's the, so this, there's four of them lined up on the one wall and two of them lined up on the end. And then there's this bench along the other side. And at the other end, right next to the two bunks, there's uh, what you would assume to be the toilet. <laughs> it's very, very basic. It's basically a, a seat with a hole and a little button in the back that it does that whole like airport. It's a <laughs> <laughs> There's no water or anything. It's just kind of like just sucks it, it just all sucks out. it all out. Or sorry, not it's not airport. More like spaceship bathroom where it just kind of vacuums it all out. I go and use it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> number one, though, don't worry. Uh, just, <laughs> <space poop. laughs> just so you can see how it works. Yeah. Just sure. number one. Just I just get myself comfortable with the environment. Sit or stand. I I I, I, I stand. <laughs> <laughs> Hover. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's. It, I don't think any of you would be particularly bothered by this, uh, given all of your backgrounds, except maybe Posh Boy over here. Uh, given all your <coughs> backgrounds, I'm sure that you've you've been in similar situations at one point or another. Right, this is I've better been, than some situations. Yeah, I've been in <laughs> worse situations. <laughs> you pooped in a hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah, you've been out in the jungle. Yeah, you've been out in the jungle or down in the underhive. Um, <laughs> you've seen plenty of uh, people urinate against the walls of the underhive. <laughs> I've only pooped in quality toilets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <And> I, <coughs> oh, oh. Con Kanye here might have a hard time with it, but Space I'm not sure. Players. I'm not going to tell you what your character is going to do. You decide. I immediately take a uh, top bunk as well. Okay. Yeah. So you no, jump up on one of the top bunks. That's the first thing I do in lay down. They do have a little bit more space. <laughs> and I foot and a half down. instead of a foot. And I immediately start relaxing. Just lay back. You're right. In your I prison think, garb. I think I'm going to try and claim a top bunk. You're going to try and claim a top bunk? There's only one more top bunk. Yeah, I, I thought they would roll you for that. I thought there was three. There are. <coughs> and two of them already got <coughs> I'm top bunk. Oh if, oh, if he... Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm finding wherever there's the most room. That, the top bunk. They're all about the same. The, the, the top bunks have a little more, like... The floor. <laughs> yeah. Room from your body to the ceiling. Okay. No, but given the fact that it's this only six feet tall, you're kind of... Dutch is just like this the whole time. Yeah. Sitting is probably your most comfortable place, to be honest. Can I s lay down on, like, the stool area? On the bench? Yeah. Is there like room for the bench? You sure. It's pretty narrow. Ah, oh, jeez. Mm, I'll take the bottom bunk. I'm taking that top one. So we got three then. Oh, three on top bunk. Because <laughs> I don't want to wake up and then hit my head. Right. <laughs> so I'm, right, right. I'm, I'm happy with whatever bunk the Emperor's provided for me. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not particular about it. So nobody actually. Everyone gets what they want. <clears throat> everyone but gets what they want. That's just rolls his eyes. <laughs> Wow, you guys aren't going to fight over your bunk? <coughs> I was but, ready. That, that was, I don't have anything else planned. <laughs> I, I, I was sure. Man, that session <laughs> one. I, I was sure you guys were going to spend the rest of the time fighting over which bed you get. Yeah, you should I've got a really good intimidation. I didn't get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to intimidate another PC. Yeah. Why not, right? Okay. Is there anything that you guys want to do at this point? Uh, think about what to do. Now, maybe my character wouldn't know how to get out of the situation, but Luca, <laughs> as a person, would have no idea how to break, no idea how to break out of space prison. <laughs> you have to so, make a space guard friend. It's the only way. <laughs> I, I, or I'm join a gang. I'm or join a gang. Kind of, I'm kind of curious. Want to yeah, join a gang? That makes sense. You could join a gang. Uh, I don't know. You know. I'm gonna sit here and try to formulate a pl plot. You know, a plot. Uh, a plot. <laughs> I'm gonna take a snooper and see if there's anything um, that I can use as some sort of an improvised weapon. Anything that's not welded on properly, or you can like fashion to a shiv kind of thing. Anything. All right, give me an awareness test. Now the, it's all <coughs> metal, everything, but uh, we'll just make an awareness difficulty four. You get six dice for it. Yeah. Oh, ooh, so I get to my four. Oh, yeah, exactly your four. Yes. Okay, as you're looking around, you're able to find a loose bolt. That you yeah, after it, it, it looks like it's going to take a while to fully loosen it, like it's a little rusted. Okay, yeah. So you can start to work at that. Yeah. So you don't just like pull it out and you got a shiv. We're the only ones in the cell, right? Just us five. Just you five. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it could fit one more, but like you said, when I, as you're passing the cells, not all of them are fully occupied. Yeah. Is there like um like on the ceiling? Is there like you know how over here there's like lights and things? Yeah. So I'm trying to find a way, of, like using my, because I'm growing up on or surviving in. You can, you can basically like this. <laughs> right, like, yeah. So surviving on Catachan, I'm used to being able to get out of si certain situations. So, can I try to ascertain if I can maybe like see if I can escape? Or okay. Well, something as to... you're looking at the ceiling, there's a couple things that you notice. One is the lighting, of course, which is minimal. There is a single light in the middle of the room, and it's embedded behind past a, a very, very small slotted 
mesh mm. of, of metal behind that, so you can't just you won't be able to stick your hand through or anything. It'll take a, a, almost a probably half a centimeter is about the the width that they are. So you have to have something pretty narrow to poke through <coughs> it. Um, you don't notice any like you, you notice everything's bolted, okay. but obviously not in the way that you could unscrew them from your side. Um, now, one thing in the one corner is one of the vents mm -hmm. is currently providing the airflow that you can feel air coming out of it, giving you regular oxygen and pressurizing the, this part of the the brig as well. Um, but it's pretty narrow; it's you know no more than that big, and mm -hmm. it's not just open. It's once again it's behind a very what seems to be very well secured. Like you wouldn't be able to get your fingers into it. Is what I'm trying to say okay. to grab onto it. You have to have something much smaller to do so. So obviously it's. And now, having said that, the walls are, uh, it looks like they used to be blue, but they've got like rust color on them and there's, there's other patterns as well. Um, you, can, you can see one pipe going along the ground in the one corner underneath the bench. Not sure what that's providing, but it's welded on. So there's no way once again to grab up <coughs> any portion of that. Can I smell the pipe? Want to smell the pipe? I want to smell it. See if maybe I can figure out what that... What's going through it? Yeah. <laughs> So you see Dutch, this big guy, go down on the hands and knees, stick his head underneath <laughs> the, uh, uh, the the bench and start sniffing. Give me an awareness test. Uh, this DN3. Three. Three. Am I adding my intellect to that? It's awareness. So awareness you do is... the total number. So it, it's, it, I'm using the linked attribute, correct? Yes. Yeah. Whenever I ask you to do the scale, you're always going to use the scale plus the associated uh, attribute. <coughs> uh, it's three, got it. And you got a six on the wrath die, so yeah. throw a glory into Ooh. the middle. Contribution. So we're up to three glory. Satisfying noise. <coughs> Very satisfying noise. Then we have a crystal goblet in the middle for the glory pool. Uh, so you sniff along it, and... You notice the smell of rust first off, mm -hmm. but as you sniff and you kind of feel along, you can feel the, the what feels like the rush of liquid of some sort. Okay. Now you can't really smell what the liquid is inside because you know it's behind the metal pipe. But um, there's some kind of liquid or anything. Obviously, some sort of liquid going through it. You're not sure what it is, whether it's water or mm -hmm. some sort of other ship fluid. Okay. You're guessing it's probably nothing like promethium or anything explosive. That would be bad. Yeah, it's, it, it, but it is. It, whatever it is, it's behind a very thick. Thick um, steel pipe. Okay. Anybody else have any questions about your wonderfully cramped cell? <coughs> no, I'm just gonna be sitting up there watching him because he really, said he. You have to lie on your side. You can't sit on your bunk. Whichever. Because <laughs> he said he killed his commodore, so he wants to get out. <laughs> yeah, surprised he's still alive. It's weird that you found any leniency on that, eh? Okay. Yeah, I guess my, my major play is to uh, wait to see someone else make a move and make a mistake and capitalize on it. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want to make a mistake. I just don't want to do the work. Right? <laughs> I want to see a guard come in and maybe slip up. Maybe this kid is actually a rogue trader. Maybe he does have some sway over this guard. I guess we'll find out later when the guard decides to show up with or without friends. <laughs> <coughs> to give you your regular beating. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it time for my scheduled skull bashing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what life, like a, life as a peasant, is like. <laughs> Getting beaten in jail. Not, like not very pleasant. Turn. Do we see him take the screw? Um. Yeah. It's, it, he hasn't taken it yet, but you do see him notice. It's on, <coughs> on the side of his bunk. He just starts to. I'm assuming you're kind of fiddling with it. Sure. Yeah. Slowly, kind of picking away at it, flaking off some of the rust. See, I mean, it, it's tiny, tiniest bit loose. But and you. Not you, it, you, you you assume that you can slowly no get it loose. But yeah, it wouldn't, given the, the small nature of the room, unless you're really not paying attention, it would be hard to not notice him working on this thing. Did you want to interact with each other at all? You're allowed to talk to each other, too. Mm. I've noticed you, really you, have, I notice you haven't done that yet. So would you steal? Nothing. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Good improv skills there, look at. Right. <laughs> My guy's pretty simple, straight to the point, right? It's called you guys are off. <laughs> so, uh, I'd shoot the commissar. I'm what? just going to keep asking random questions. I don't know why you shot people the do this. What did you so, say to me? Wait, you shot a commissar? <laughs> no, I, shot the I threw a knife at him. Ooh. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's how you talk. No, sorry. Wow! <laughs> I threw my knife at him. Did, did it hit home? He stuck around. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't remember. You did. 
Good. Why'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> you did, why'd you do it? <laughs> Listen, kid, are you actually... The Emperor afraid? knows what I did. Can you prove it? Yeah, the Emperor knows what I did, too. Can you prove that? That's why really I have favorite? a rid of passage you do. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. We just need to get my stuff. Yeah. Getting my stuff would be great. Right. I miss her. Turns out without my identification or rid of passage, I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> A regular naked man. <clears throat> I miss my armor. I doze off my nap. I'm oh. still just working on get my space shiv. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing characters I can go to sleep easily. Ah, oh, so relaxing. Do you, you think the Emperor would approve of this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's going to use that shiv to carve the entire book into his mattress, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uplifting primer. Was that in character? No, <laughs> that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely the character. I love the uplifting. Yeah, you're just uplifting. <laughs> the only window is the door, correct? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the windows. Yeah. So, from my observation of us coming in, does this seem like a pretty standard, like really? <clears throat> I think of the word. This is a very high security prison, or is this kind of like where you are right random? now? It's just it doesn't seem. I wouldn't say it's high security. There's only one guard sitting outside. Like there's, 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 there's two doors. The there's, there's two doors. One that you came through, and then there's another one that obviously goes to more cells. Because it doesn't seem sloppy, but you're, it's, it's not standard high security. There's five of you in a room together. That's already not high security, right? Yeah. Um, you're, you're, it's, yeah. So you don't feel like you're in a high security prison, but given the fact that it's a prison on board of a spaceship, it's still very confined. Right. It's like a, its own. You didn't. You didn't pass any cafeterias on your way here. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Or workout areas or prison yards on your way here. Uh, break. Yeah. So I will stay silent <clears throat> while I try to formulate a plot. I think it's sick. gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to find a Morgan Freeman. Oh. Can you do Morgan Freeman? Ooh. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's a double. You hear, you can feel the shutter of the ship start its velocity. The grav plating, of course, keeps you in, in place and in whatever inertial dampeners they have in the 41st millennium or 42nd millennium. We're not going to think too hard about the science behind this. Is it is it noisy out in the brig or is the guards keeping everyone quiet? Or trying to keep everyone quiet? You can hear you can hear <coughs> voices down the hallway. It's, it doesn't sound like much yelling, but you it's do. Not hooting you, and hollering. There is a lot of ambient noise. You can hear the hum of all these, all the machinery that's going, you can hear the air being pushed out of the vent to keep the so no cabin pressure. You don't hear any, you, you hear the occasional yell, but nothing that sounds out of the ordinary. Every Stop. once in a while, a guard, the door opens and a guard comes through, checks up on the guard there, and then passes through the other door. Uh, each time doing authentication at each of the doors. At least you assume the first one, because you don't see them on this way in. Um, and, and you can hear through the wall, like the back wall, you can hear all these ambient noises on the other side as well. So you assume that there's more rooms on the other side on each side of you as well. I want to figure out what the response time is. That'd be great. Without being too noisy. We'd have to burst the pipe. Or just scream loudly and see what happens. Oh, Cause a ruckus. Uh, punch. Uh, Dutch. See what happens. Start see how long it takes someone to show up. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm, I think I'm like six foot eight, six foot seven. Something pretty tall. Six foot eight? We've got like two giants here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we're both from Death Worlds, too. Have you seen how tall the miniature is? Yeah, man, yeah. miniature is super tall. That's so you're tall. having a hard time in here, too. I, you're feeling, yeah. You're, you're feeling a cramp. Because it's only six feet. The ceiling's only six yeah. feet high. Yeah. So, kind so, of like you're, so you're in just like this. Yeah. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, that's, that's where my brain's kind of going now. I'm thinking about starting a ruckus, some sort of commotion to see what the response time for the guards are, would be. And then uh, what? What's the long-term plan here? Uh, it is uh, to get out and try and work something out with. I my first train of thought is to find if anyone else was captured from the op. That failed. I obviously I have Josh's character here with me, um, and then from there to just continue with that mission. There's only one, bring down uh, either contact the Inquisitor, give him the proof that we found, and uh, or somehow bring down or take control of the ship. But that's, mm. ambi that's the ambitious plan. That's like all best case scenario. You know, I still <laughs> don't have the frigate that I'm supposed we to We could have. wait until meal time. This could be until everyone yeah. congregates. That's true. 
So I will kind of open my eyes and maybe uh, help, like air that <clears throat> idea out there. How does how does everyone feel like maybe uh, starting a commotion with their response time? Is see what see what see what the general response time is for the guards. What they're what they're supposed to do if Am something I, happens. Have I managed to get my improvised shiv? Oh, you're still working on it. Okay. Well, only about an hour has passed. <coughs> <clears throat> if you are making progress, it's, it's kind of squeaking a bit. You're able to turn it. So now you're just doing the whole. It's not like unscrewing, turning, okay. more just like trying to work it loose. Okay, well. I'm keeping an eye on him because I don't want to. Because the sh- <laughs> <laughs> the sh- with the screw. Just immediately, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you killed your commissar. <laughs> <laughs> For the Empire. Because <laughs> I don't know, if we, like we could. Like we could try and get lucky and cause a commotion in the, I guess if there is any area, if there's like a congregation area. I'm, I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming we get li- uh, let out of our cages at some point, but we might not ever, right? <coughs> Food could just be brought to us. So we have to, I guess we literally have to wait and see how the whole the, the daily routine yeah, goes. Yeah, well, let's just wait. We can't do anything without uh, knowing the routine, at least in my mind. From a book I was reading, I'm pretty sure they just scoop it into your hand. <laughs> <coughs> I could be it. Here's your space food. Present hand. <laughs> Eat it. Here's Space your slop. flavorless gruel. <laughs> oh, that's how we're doing it now. And your recycled water. I think that's a good idea. We just wait to see what the routine is. Yeah. We gotta figure out the routine. Okay. That makes the most the sense in the first step. Of we should at least wait break, right? like a day to see what You know happens. it's a long journey, so it's not like yeah. Yeah. if you don't figure it out today, it's you're done. Have any of you broken out of prison before? If you have, what'd you do first? I barely broke into prison. <laughs> Are you asking the viewers? <laughs> <laughs> What's the first step to breaking out of prison? Pay off the guards. Well, I'm that works too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to punch the biggest guy, then hit a guard with a food tray, start a riot, Ooh. and then get people on your side. I think you're out. on the right track getting a guard on our side. <coughs> but there's got to be more to it than that. Actually, that could very well be it. Now, is that like movie escape? There's, or is I mean, that like real? There's so, there's so many different escape routes. All he needs is to get... Or he can just jump out of a window. Your Inquisition like badge. That's what I was thinking. Or my <laughs> Jump out of a window. <laughs> I mean, but they they probably won't let us just walk around freely. No, we just need our papers. We need our stuff. Because if you jump out of a window, we're jumping out of space. (laughs) Yeah, don't do that. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's not free at last. We hide the ship. (laughs) Just Uh, swim back. uh, But we do have to get our items. I did. I I didn't forget about recollecting our gear. If we had (coughs) our gear, we might not be in this situation. Right. We can try and pass off as. uh, I guess the the notion that prisoners have escaped would be. But anyway, that's, that's what we should try and find out. Has anyone ever escaped from here before? Oh, uh, all we have is <coughs> ourselves to know. Into space. Aren't those people right <laughs> across the hall? Yeah, I'm like, well, okay. There's not. This is the only cell. Okay. And this is hoping there's no microphones in our cells. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is true. <laughs> this is the 41st building. Yeah. yeah. What, is, there, is there cells to the left and right of us? Like here, yeah, yeah. Or is there like a good the, wall? Through the, basically, this is a smaller section. It feels like as like you came quote? down, this is almost like a. A, a, the end of a curved <laughs> part that keeps going out the other way. So you came through one door into a little, little hallway, and your cell's there, and then it's the other door. That's uh, it. We're oh secluded. wow, we are secluded. you're pretty secluded. But okay. most of them seem that way. It was like it was like a door, maybe two or three cells, and door. another door, okay. and then a couple cells, door. Because sometimes there's machinery on the other side of the wall, or who knows what, right? The workings of a ship. <clears throat> well, only space yeah. could be on the other side. It could be space. No, you can tell by this that there's yeah. you can hear sound on the other side of yours. No, there's even voices. We don't want to chisel a chest set and then <laughs> the wall. They, they cut through the cut dig through the steel. <laughs> Put a space poster up to cover right? work. By the, by the, <laughs> poster. by the time he dug through hundred yards. You uh, can, how, how much ooh. How much ooh? <laughs> okay. About an gonna... hour passes. <coughs> okay. You can feel the ship rumbling at this point. You assume that you're in some sort of tr- you're in transit mm, um, continues. as it's been moving now. And um, at this point, the door opens and a couple guards come in. One is carrying a big ch- uh, uh, sorry, he's pushing like some sort of cart on uh, these little grab lifts. A little book. And no, it's the library. That's the library. My book. <laughs> no, it's it, you can, it's the food cart. Oh, food. oh. oh no! <laughs> There's no communal meal. Yeah, yeah. You had a funny feeling. Maybe that wouldn't be the case on a spaceship that doesn't have much space. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a terrible yeah. spaceship. Then not living up to its name. Kind of ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so they come up. <laughs> and they start to they they tap on the the door and they open up the the little slot that you had stuck your hands through. 
and then they start to, you can see a little, there's a little spot for a tray that they kind of push on. So the first tray comes in and you can see there's a couple of bowls that are just made out of some sort of uh, like a paper material. No. Oh. And That's they're fair. full. They're full of some sort of grayish sludge. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, like dinner. They hear shouted back out to you, and they're just kind of holding it in place. I suppose I'll just jump down and grab my food. You go over and you grab one of them. I'll grab a paper bowl of gray mush. <laughs> yeah, there's no spoon. There's no utensils. Is it like is the bowl edible? Is it just you just pop the whole bowl in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a bread <laughs> bowl. <laughs> you don't know if the bowl's edible. I just kind of, I do the, like, the double finger scoop smell. <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? <laughs> it smells pretty bad. It smells pretty uh, bad. Smells... away eats the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it smells pretty bad, but not like rancid bad, more just like unspot. Yeah, you look at, it tastes <clears throat> pretty bland. Like, not bad, just, is it like flavorless oatmeal? Yeah, essentially. All right, I picture, actually picture like, like picture oatmeal, like oatmeal so with bad. nothing in it. With no oats or with, meal. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, if you just picture sawdust. it like just just oatmeal with just water, <clears throat> that would be a similar flavor to what this is. I like it's that, not though. bad. It's I like just, regular oatmeal. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I eat it. And do what was wrong with regular So you go back oatmeal. to your bed and just start to scoop it out? Yeah, I just kind of, I started doing full Where's hands. Your dinosaurs? Who else is going to go grab one? I'll, I'll grab one. Yep. I know it. So, <clears> so uh, yeah. Dutch goes over and grabs one, then they pull it out, and then they put two more in. So Abigail, you grab one. What about you two? I'll happily go. Get All right, so you go, and you're last. Yeah. And so you grab one, and you pull out, and you see uh, that <clears throat> the one guy that's there, the with the with the other guy is Brander, mm -hmm. and he looks over at you, and he's like, he, he whispers something to the guy, and he slides in the thing, and there's another bowl, but this one has like the, there's actually color to it. Cinnamon. It's like a, it's like a green color to it. Ooh, he gave me food. Yeah, and there's a bit more. It, the bowl's a little bigger than the other bowls. Oh. And when you smell it, you do smell the aroma of some sort of spice. Uh, but when you taste it, it, it tastes pretty awful. It actually tastes worse than regular oatmeal, but you can tell that he made some sort of effort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nod in appreciation yeah. <laughs> and hide my disgust. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, uh, it's pretty much <clears throat> oatmeal with, I don't know what you'd add to it, pepper? Uh, pepper and uh, a heavy dosage of, I don't know. Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mayo and pepper added to your oatmeal. oatmeal. So you can tell there was some sort of effort there. He kind of nods to you. And then they, they pass through to the other this door. This is definitely food. Yeah. Anybody want to try food? Is uh, Wilfred going to try to eat the bowl? No. No? Do you want me to? No, I don't. Okay. Just, you, it, it was like your you, idea. Yeah. yeah I mean, just, you know, it, it just sounded like you wanted to. So the meal, is, the meal is edible. Um, oh, I'm sorry. There's actually a tiny little sink as well. That with a bit of running water. Reasonable. Only a little. You, whenever you press it, you can see that there's a little, uh, little <clears throat> cogitator up top of it that gives you a display of how much water you have. And it's very rationed. Is it like our drinking water? As well? Drinking and washing water. So you have to you have to be very sparing with it. Oh. You realize as soon as you press you press the button once and it just shoots out a little bit, just enough to like, to wet your hands or to take a little drink. But you can see that it quickly <laughs> the the <laughs> amount depletes. It it, re, it it goes back up like every hour. There's a little bit of thook. but. Um, it's enough to survive. So there's no shower in the room? No. Okay. Yeah, no. And there is a drain in the middle. All right. As well. I figured out how we're getting out. So we're the drain? Take the bowls that are paper like material. Oh my goodness. This is smart. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> Do you? You're going to clog it and cause a flood? No. Oh. We get, <laughs> we get like this much water a day. <laughs> no, you stuff, you stuff all this <laughs> paper in there. You, you wet the bowl and you crumple it up. And then every day you get more bull and paper it gets heavier, weapons. And you're gonna rock a guy in the head. It's paper mush. I'm sure our fists are harder than that. <laughs> Cardboard mush. Yeah. Or I now have a power fist. <laughs> you paper machine <laughs> ball around your head. We're gonna give you a sock and bopper. <laughs> you just been Jane Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. I, you know, I thought you were gonna go with the you, you, you stuff the paper in it the drain. It will literally <laughs> take our entire journey just to make the floor damp, <laughs> and then it clogs, and then you know there's there's a, oh error error they have to send technicians by to fix it, and we murder them. Well, why don't you suggest that after I suggest my brilliant plan of making? I thought that's where you were going with it. A paper mache power fist. Yeah. I should have assumed it was gonna be something like a paper mache power fist. <laughs> I take the mimic and I roll it in a pile of spears. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great weapon. 
How do we get out? <laughs> I don't want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I shake my head because I go back to bed. You eat your green oatmeal. <laughs> I did. It was gross. <laughs> <coughs> mayo. And, I, you know what? Normally mayo and pepper is delicious. Just oh. mayo and pepper? Yeah. You, yeah. You never have just mayo and pepper. No. He just puts it in a bowl, mixes it up. I, yeah. I believe you. Yep. I love mayo. Do you want, want going to go back to working on the spaceship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to formulating a plan. That's what we'll do. We use the bowl to stick the spaceship to the ceiling lip uh, for <clears> inspection <throat> time. Or we could just Look. we could get like a bunch of uh, like oh, what, what was it called? We use just uh, spitballs and just like <laughs> or throw spitballs at them. You know, that's not gonna work. I give up. Back to my plan. <laughs> okay. Just the pelt them spitballs. I don't think we're ever getting out of here. No. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. I think this is the worst prison break ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's fun. I, wait, that's all we can do is wait for the routine to figure out a routine and a plan. They come by, they give us food at assumed o'clock. What, 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 assumed the clock. I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll start. Is there any way we could keep track of time <clears throat> reasonably in this uh, setting? How 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 would you keep track of time without a device to keep track of time, other than counting the seconds until you lose track? Well, we can watch the water. Ooh, Does that refills sure. periodically? We could. We could base it on the water level. So you, you're saying for sure it goes up a little bit every hour? Roughly, yeah. Okay. There's some regular interval that it goes up. <clears throat> so they well, gave, they say it's an hour or not, it's hard to say. But if it only like, we made like friends hour. with a guard. Right. We're on, we're on our way. Up? I'm working on it. <laughs> I couldn't go at him again the next day. I don't want to seem desperate. <laughs> <laughs> day one, get pretty desperate in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. Like, where's out? You're in you're transit between planets. Yeah. So a day passes, and the only semblance of time that you can feel is that your light dims at one point for a few hours. It doesn't totally go out, it just dims. Oh, really? Um, and so you're assuming that maybe that's your sleep time. <clears throat> uh, the guards rotate every few hours. You're brought food twice a, a day. If so you can find like again someone's... 12 hours-ish. Yeah, you're not sure if it's once every... It, it's hard to keep track. Like, yeah, right? It would be. There's semi-regular intervals that you're brought food. We're on twice space time now, though. <laughs> yeah, space, like, there's no there's no rotation of a planet or moving around a star to... You know, not everybody works on Eastern Standard Time when you're out in space. <coughs> right. <clears throat> like, what kind of cycle would you even need when you're constantly living in a spaceship, right? Of day and night, it'd just be totally thrown off. You always keep your clock to holy terra. Always. Mm -hmm. You try. You or know, you get shot, flogged, and played. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, in that order? It's kind of hard. Yeah. There's a bit of a delay in, in syncing it up whenever it's time to, right? As we know in Imperial time, the further you are away from Terra, the harder it is to know if your dates are even accurate. Right. Let alone, well, obviously, time of day is easy because it's just based on your planet. But there's different rotations, right? Somebody's could be 24 hours, 30 hours, 15 hours, 10 hours. So what is even a day? Is it's hard to even say. Like on Balatov Prime, you don't even know necessarily. It could. I haven't decided this. It doesn't necessarily. It's not all 24-hour days. I know Fe Fenris has a long year, and I can't remember how long. They <coughs> call them great years. They're long. So if we're gonna talk, if we're gonna roughly estimate days, you think it's been a couple days since you left, when all of a sudden you hear the. You feel you feel a weird agitation in the air, Ooh. and anybody who's been on a ship before is familiar with this. It feels like the spooling up of the warp drive. Mm -hmm. um, to you, good. Abigail, this it, it's very <clears throat> unsettling. It's it's unsettling to all of you, but you've never experienced this before. It's a weird nauseous feeling without being nauseous. Like it's not in your stomach or in your guts. It's just like it's like all of a sudden you're just your whole body just feels uneasy. Uh, as it just kind of goes through, it's uh, like this thing. There's a bit of tingling sensation. Maybe you get like goosebumps. Um, you're it's hard to sleep at this point as you as you feel it, the the ship be. Pre um, you're assuming preparing it to tear itself out of reality into the immaterium. And then just as quickly as as it was spooling up, all of a sudden you just feel that moment where the ship enters the immaterium, <clears throat> and for a split second, reality blinks out of existence. For what feels to you like several moments, and yet really it was just less than a nanosecond, all reality undo, do, undoes itself, but just as quickly then the Geller, the Geller field comes into effect. The Geller field comes into effect, you assume. 
and the ship is plunged back into a, a bubble of reality as it is traveling through the immaterium, and and that sensation passes, so you don't feel it anymore. But you also don't feel any motion in the ship at the same time. This, the hum of all the machinery is there, but the, the, the sense of motion is gone, and the four of you are pretty sure that you have just entered the warp. I'm pretty sure when reality blinks out of existence, uh, Abbeydale's screaming. <laughs> just for a moment? Yeah. <laughs> just for a moment, though. And all of a sudden, everything's fine. You, you, the tingling sensation, the sensation is gone. You feel you're, you're it's sweating. But that, oh, the whole sensation has passed, yeah. except for the fact that you're sweating. We're on our way now. I'm going to quietly mumble the uh, <clears throat> litany of warp travel. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember all of them without your book? Definitely. Yeah. No, you mean personally? For my no, character? I, I mean like your character. Oh yeah, for sure. Shot. He, he grew up on this. Shot flogs. So what did you say you know? then? Shield me from the maelstrom. Prove the ship worthy of protecting your legions who bring your light wherever they travel. Could have mumbled that to himself. He says that. Abigail screams as you're saying this. I could care less about it. <laughs> I know. There's, there's at least two loyal <clears throat> servants of the Emperor here and that's all I'm concerned about right now. But definitely not three. <laughs> Nobody else reacts to either the reading from the primer or the scream of Abigail? I chuckle a little bit. If, if I hear the primer, I kind of chuckle under my <clears throat> breath. Oh yeah, you're in a tiny little room. If I hear the scream, I'm going to chuckle under my breath. <laughs> <laughs> There's no if here. You all heard the scream. You definitely heard it. And you can all hear him mumbling from the, the primer. Except I guess so. maybe you, maybe you yeah, I can't hear nothing. I'll just, <laughs> just chuck out the whole situation. But we're moving. Uh, we're going to die. We're moving. <laughs> That's just kind of... Hearing you kind of just mumble your little primer book. I mean, he grew up, Dutch grew up on that too, but he. I was gonna say, yeah. He kind of goes by a different code. The book says you're not supposed to go by a different code. <laughs> <laughs> Shot, flogged, and played. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now, to be fair, only some of them are shot. Most are shot. Most of them. Yeah, most are shot. I'm yeah. assuming this is your characters talking to each other, right? Mm. And if it's not, I, I, well, if it's not try to have your characters talk to each other. Right. <clears throat> this is mostly. Uh, like right now we're having I'm players. Busy reciting litanies and trying to get a space knife. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're having players talking to players. Try to have it be characters talking to characters. Okay, my character's dead silent. Well, that's great. I know. <laughs> I'm, 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 <laughs> we gotta do something. <laughs> Way to cooperate. What the crap was that? Here we are. That's just that's just warp travel. And then the warp. Hmm. Okay. The warp. The warp. The warp. The warp. Okay. <laughs> In civilian, what does that mean? Ask the mumbling boy over here. I don't have time for this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you dare interrupt my service? We've entered the immaterium. In a what now? We're following the Empress Holy Light. Oh. We're traveling to a new planet. Have you never been in, been on a spacecraft <clears throat> before? It's quite obvious she has, just blankly staring at you. <laughs> no, no. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of shocked at the concept of it. I'm going very fast. How can you serve the Emperor if yeah. you've never been on a ship? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just gotta wait. All right, <clears throat> so, so I think I'm gonna have to force that Brander guy to let us out. I'm going to have to make him a better offer. Voidsman isn't doing it for him. Hey, Voidsman's a pretty... Well, you have a feeling that it wasn't so much like he was interested in your offer as it was just kind of growing fond of you for even trying. Oh. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm just saying that's the kind of the... Or maybe you don't get that impression, but everybody else around you does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so based on how loose I've managed to get this screw, like... Am I, am I still making progress on getting this? Actually, thing at this out? point, you've you've managed to pop it out. Okay. And so, but it's uh, it's a long bolt, probably about two inches long. Yep. Um, but it's it's not sharp on the end. Bolt. So at this point, you can start to do the whole kind of scratch it against the floor or the wall. Yeah. And hope not to get the. But underneath one of the bunks, so it doesn't leave obvious scratch marks. Yeah. Right. And you, you kind of try to do it. Obviously, you have to do it slowly so that the guard that's <laughs> several feet away doesn't notice you you doing this. One thing you do notice after a couple of days is that the bowls that you did have. Um, they they deteriorate quite quickly. Cool. Just like on the floor, this kind of like if you leave it out, they just kind of they start to crumble. Cool. And eventually, you learn just through the guards passing and seeing them lying on the floor that they actually are edible. So they're part of your meal. 
time. <laughs> but if you try to hold on to them for too long, they they just they just, they flake away very quickly, making them pretty useless for anything. If you try, if you ever experiment getting them wet, the mo it's like toilet paper. Oh. The moment they get wet, they just oh. they just deteriorate. So you're, you're, if you try to wad them together, <laughs> they start to stink really badly and don't form any any solid material. It's just more like it just becomes this mush of goo that's that smells like rancid meat. Oh, wow. Um, and so yeah, you're actually as you start to taste it, it's, it's actually more tasty than the sludge that is currently holding inside of it. Huh. You, seem to you sort sprinkle of, it on the <laughs> In fact, on the as, as your time goes on, you can actually you can tear off, as you, as you eat down, you can tear off what's above it and, That's like and bread. flake it on. <laughs> it is a red bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like like but in this case, instead of tasting like bread, it tastes more like a protein. Like oh. it's some sort of protein <clears throat> material. Interesting. Well, the, the sludge is like a carb slash protein. It's like re sludge. Reformed, refried beans. <laughs> yeah. Who knows what the protein's from? Maybe it's better not to know how the protein bowl oh, is made. Icon. Uh, Pierce, right? Oh, they're prisoner. The protein <laughs> hey, that bowl. That was a good movie. It was so iconic. Okay. As <clears throat> now, about three days pass. Three days travel in the war. Once, I'll tell you how many days is. It's not too relevant. It's just a, the more sense of how much time has passed. As the days are passing, you do notice an agitation amongst the guards. That they seem to be a little more uptight. As, as they're going by and mumbling to each other, and uh, you're not quite sure why. <clears throat> and every once in a while you do hear some yells from adjoining cells, uh, and the occasional, even like uh, the sound of wailing, some sort of agony. It doesn't surprise you too much, because your rest is, is pretty broken up as well. Every time you try to sleep, you get unsettling dreams. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, now, for those of you who've traveled through the warp before, this this does happen. It's not, you know, the, the Geller field usually keeps most of these effects out, but it's not unusual for this kind of thing to happen. Um, but still, it's it unsettles anybody because you can't help when you're in a dream to have you only have control <coughs> over your emotions in that. And so you all get visions of past things that have happened, any any uh, bad things that have happened to you sometimes come back up, or you just get these. Uh, Dreams that where you just you, you know you're walking down a hallway but never making any progress, or that you're just lying underground, slowly being buried alive, but you know just these different kinds of nightmares that might might, might plague you. But the regardless of what they are, and by the way, anybody who lost shock and wounds can get them back now. Oh, oh right. yay! Yeah, yes, yeah, you've had sufficient you had sufficient rest to recuperate those. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say just. Out of curiosity, when the guards over the days that we've been in here, are the guards <coughs> ever coming in to do a check of the room, or did they, they never enter the room? They never enter. They the look room? into the room. Okay. They never open it for an inspection. Do uh, they seem to uh, respond to any of the agitation sounds or the screaming or anything? Sometimes you can hear uh, the occasional gunshot, <laughs> or you hear you hear you hear shouts and what sounds like a fight. You hear banging, <coughs> uh, and then but then all but then it goes away. So we can definitely draw them in then. And Brander definitely is a regular to your cell. At least once a day, he's with whoever's bringing the food. You keep getting a variety of colored <laughs> sludge. Everybody keeps getting You're the guinea pig. <laughs> and so out of the out of the three day or four days you've been fed it now, there was one time where it was mildly more pleasant than the, the crap that they've been given. Every other time, you can see that it was his probably just grabbing random ingredients and smuggling them into the food. And none of them have really worked. Oh. So you're actually getting worse <laughs> because of it. But you can tell that he's making some sort of effort, which is nice of him. Next next time Brander comes by, why not try and get a little information? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So Brander comes by. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> Timing! Uh, excuse me, officer. Uh, <clears throat> would, you, uh, would you be able to spare information as to what's going on? Hearing a lot of gunshots. A lot of commotion. Excuse me. When he looks around, he's like, well, you know, warp travel's never easy. Yeah. Not everybody's particularly uneasy about this trip. As we're going through an area of the, I don't know, I overheard the word, uh, sicatrix something? Sicatrix maledictum? Mm. It's a partly, it's a, it's a uneasy part of the warp. <clears throat> they can still see the Emperor's light from here, but it, uh, it's a little more faint. So this kind of puts everybody on edge. I don't know, have you experienced any nightmares or bad dreams? 
I don't want to tell him that I dream about the bowls he brings me. <laughs> <laughs> Your dream is just like him bringing the giant, like, here you go! And I'm not going to leave till you eat it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch you have a plate. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> and I never make any progress. Don't have a dream. There's always more. That's my hallway. <laughs> That's your hallway. Is the bottomless bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> so the captain is purposely going through this part of the world. <coughs> well, he doesn't have much of a choice. It's near the location where we're heading. Oh. <clears throat> Could have always taken the long way. Mm. The safer way. Reckless individual. Yeah, things aren't looking good. I don't know what you know, but Who's I've never heard of material being particularly safe. Uh, that's true. But this isn't your average trip, I would say. Oh, for us around this area, you know, we don't have much choice. It's not like you could just move to somewhere else. You gotta go where the money goes. Now, if you want to do um, a persuasion check to see what other... Because I have other information that he might give you, depending on how well you do. Now, he's friendly to you, and so we're looking at a DN of only one. Oh wow! You're gonna grab. You don't grab the glory till after. You get to roll oh. first. You roll yeah. first, and then you can use the glory after you've done your rerolls to add an extra die. Well, come on, man! I know something else is up. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you share, and we'll talk more about business deals. Uh, oh, that's still pretty good. I got four. Okay, obviously you pass it. How many shifts can you do? Yeah, none. Zero. So you only. So you basically just pass it. Yeah, I just pass. Okay, so no shifting. No. Okay. Well, that gets you one more piece of information. Can spend wrath to make a narrative declaration. You can spend a wrath to re-roll. <coughs> I could spend a wrath. To re -roll. Or you can grab a glory die there and hope you roll a six. But since you didn't roll any sixes, that's what you'd be looking well, for. Well, I've already contributed to. <laughs> okay, so we're using a glory. We're using a glory. One less glory. Oh. Well, maybe you pass again, so it's useless though. Yeah, you can exactly. roll as many fours and fives as you want. It's the extra. So basically, the way the mechanic works is there's a difficulty number, Darn. and that's how many they have to get. But if you get it, and you have excess sixes that you don't need to get it, you can shift those sixes. And shifting them improves narratively what is happening. In combat, it does more damage. Outside of combat, it does things like improve your friendship towards them or gets more information. Of course, I hope that. All right. <clears throat> And he looks over, he's like, well, it's not particularly helpful that uh, one of the groups of prisoners we have on board is one of the gangs that we rounded up back from Belotov Prime. We got uh, the Hive Rats down in Delta Brig. You recognize that name. You're not one of the Hive Rats. Nope. But it's one of the rival gangs. And you did recently hear that they got in trouble from the local law enforcement. A little more than spray painting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much worse. Um including their leader, Andreas. They, they've been causing commotions. They've, they've been particularly agitated and uncooperative and you know, throwing stuff through the bars and even starting fights in their own cells to try to distract the guards. They've had to put a few of them down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's become that bad. That explains the gunshots. Yep. All right, thank you. I'll have to try again later. <laughs> I'll just get him every day. <clears throat> a little poke here, a little prod there. Yeah. He'll I mean, become my best friend by the time we're done. Just little 30 second conversations. Yeah. yeah. We have no other way to prove. We, we got nothing else. Yeah. Is there any way to like... No, my insight's crap. My insight is crap. Yeah. <laughs> How do things get done around here? Like maintenance, that kind of stuff. Laundry, a lot of clothes around here. I see. Oh, if you like, I can give you a data slate with the the regular schedules of maintenance and all the guards and everything. Would you like that? Can you provide us with that? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try. Dude. My eyes open wide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, no, I don't think so. And he turns and moves on out the, out the door. What, that's not what I wanted to know. <laughs> I, do, I do admire his uh, sense of humor, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I wanted to know. I like Brander. I think Brander deserves to live. So the fourth day, is there anything else? that you, So you're, you scraped and you've managed to... Yeah, to, I'm going to try to see if I can get like uh, some fabric to get have a makeshift handle and turn into a proper good shiv. Yeah, you, you know what? Nice. Over, you're able to Shiv's do that upgraded. between like ripping off some from the bed and, sure. uh, and maybe some of your prison garb. 
Um, another day passes, and you've you've given yourself a shiv, which or not given yourself a shiv. You've made yourself a shiv, which we're just going to count as a knife. Okay. Nice. Plus two plus one ED damage plus your strength. Yep. Uh, knife. Yeah. So yeah, just a, base, a basic knife. So you can add that to your inventory. Just a knife. Yes. Or you can write down. I get my knife again. Yeah, my get, character had one originally, so I've already got it written there. All right. So you got it's a shiv that basically is a knife. So fourth day comes. Brander comes by one more time. One more. If you want to try to sweet talk him again. Things, things appear to get even more agitated. You're having more dreams. You're feeling <coughs> more uneasy. You're having a harder... T- food tastes worse <laughs> than usual. Uh-huh. And yours is even... Yeah, yours is even... It's pretty bad. Almost inedible. In it's fact, just a bowl you- of ketchup. Nothing else. <laughs> 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 well, what is this? No brand name brand. special. <laughs> <laughs> no name brand ketchup. <laughs> Cats of Brander brand ketchup. <laughs> um... Yeah, the, the food is actually starting to taste worse, like almost like it's rancid. And yet, every time you smell it, you can't smell any rancid. But you go to eat it, and you just get this feeling like it's mm. it's going bad. Uh, and yet, you don't get sick from it, so it's still providing you sustenance. Oh, no. That's good, at least. Yeah. Um, always bad. The bowls deteriorate faster than they normally do, uh, which maybe maybe that's just what happens along the voyage. It's hard to say. Maybe they don't even have bowls by the end, because you know these bowls deteriorate. <clears throat> it's hard to say how they make them. Maybe we'll find out in one of the rooms. Maybe. So, uh, Brander does come by one more time. He comes by once each day. This is the fourth day. Uh-huh. Does he comes food. alone, right? Most of the time? No, no, he comes. It's always him and one of their guards ah. bringing the food. He brings your uh, brunch time food. The first meal of the day, basically. Right. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out all the stops. I'm going to pull myself together, stand up straight. How tall are you? Like 5'9". Okay. 5'10". So I'm, I'm a relatively short guy. Or average height. 5'10 is average. Space average. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I know, right? I'm like 5'9 is pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 5'10 five, five, that's average height. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Just not in this office. Yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway. Pull myself together. Stand up straight. So he's handing you your bowl. It's uh, blue today. One arm behind my back. One arm takes the bowl. You know, a noble posture. Good and proper. You'd be like, Brander, a man of my station cannot be stuck in this situation any longer. <laughs> it's four days in. He's good as crap. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scared now, okay? <laughs> he, was, he was real. He was serious. I request your aid in freeing the youngest member of the Von Castellan dynasty from his shackles. So DN1 persuasion. Oh, wow. What's that? Uh, the eighth die. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, six is for days. Ooh. Obviously, you make it. I want to know how many shifts you get. It was one. Yeah, yeah three, three shifts. Uh, three shifts. Do you want to throw one of those into the middle, or do you want to use all three? I want to use all three. I've already donated enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so three shifts is pretty good. He's like, hey, you know what? I like you there, Kanye. Uh, I'd love to help you, but we've got worse problems in our hand. No, it's just this, this, this. Warp travel's taking a lot longer. It's supposed to take weeks, but we feel like we're behind schedule already. Um, the, there's even rumor that the Navigator's having a hard time keeping his eye on the light of the Imperium, the Emperor. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I'm sure we'll get there. But uh, the rest of the crew is all... Everybody's experiencing weird nightmares. Some of them even, like, waking nightmares. And uh, the... The, the, we're getting even more uprisings amongst the prisoners. We never let them out, so it's not too much of a problem, but there's now probably a dozen cells that have been cleared that have been purged because of this. Some of them just uh, all of a sudden random violence and attacking each other. But uh, So I'm, I'm not really able to... Obviously, I can't get you out. Where would you go anyways if I got you out? And we're in the middle of the immaterium. Oh, no, no. Uh, we, we seek to re-enter society, not to run away from the ship. If you just check my belongings, you will find a writ of passage, and it will clear everything up. And what would I do with that? I don't know. Let me out. <laughs> <laughs> we could help, but the influence of a rogue trader goes a long way. And I'm sure big buff Catachan man and Morty and guy and... Well, not you, but... Uh, whatever you are. We could help. What are you? I'm a mercenary. I'll take a look. He's a mercenary? I'll take a look. I'll have, I'll have to find them where they requisitioned your items. Sure. Uh, that's all I can ask. 
Oh, he's gonna find something very interesting in there. You want to work this up first? Look, they they have my inquisitorial uh, writ <clears throat> or passage. His little badge. Yours does, yeah. Yeah, they, I assume they have that in those belongings as well. So anyone who takes a gander in there, if they're true to the emperor, which most people are, what are and all the are they gonna craft their pants or want to kill you? Right. So we'll find out. And we'll see if Banda Brander's on the right side of the fence here. Yep. A warrant. Oh yeah, my warrant of trade. So you have a warrant of trade? Uh, that's what my class feature is. Warrant of trade is what says makes you a rogue yeah, trader. As well. Okay, because you forgot to write that down. So it's just it's not listed on their I warrant don't because it's not think a warrant you would, item. I don't technically know if you would have a warrant of trade. I think it's your papa that has one. Oh yeah, whatever. But you might have some sort of copy that. I'll put yeah. some like all, what I'll do is I'll write down they have some sort of <laughs> Road trader proof documentation <laughs> that kind of shows your your lineage, you know the thing you carry around to impress girls and and try to get yourself out of trouble and free drinks <laughs> and free drinks because people care. Uh, Daddy's money doesn't go that far. Okay, <laughs> we're pretty far out in space. <clears throat> okay, so he leaves. And you, the feeling of unsettling, of being unsettled is now amplified now that you know that there's there's problems going on. Mm. Um, and you're having a harder time sleeping. Each each night that passes, it, it gets worse. You're finding yourself having very uh, fitful sleep. Waking quite often. Or not waking at all, but waking up and feeling like you didn't sleep much. One or the other. It's not fun either way. And even though you're fatigued throughout the day, uh, you don't feel like napping or, or falling back to sleep. You just try to busy yourself however you can. Uh, the next day comes, and uh, Brander comes back with brunch. Hmm. And he's putting them all through one by one and does yours last. <clears throat> and he, he slides it in. Give me one second here. So none of these things are small. <laughs> I was I was gonna be like, I'll give you one of your items, but none of them are, are small enough to smuggle in. Uh, here's your hand flamer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he he kind of he kind of slides it in. He says, "Okay, I, I did look through. I did see your documentation. That's that's pretty legit. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, I put something special in, in, into your into your grog." Or take your grog into your, frog. into your stew. Into your stew. I assume he just means more spices, and I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. As you eat through it, you come across little chunks of brown, mm -hmm. uh, and you at first you're like, "What the crap is this?" <laughs> Freezes. <laughs> Ooh, gloss up. They're, they're they're kind of like fancy space studs. <laughs> Because <laughs> you had a little box of fancy space duds, right? Of chocolate. That was my clothes. <laughs> That's what he meant. Dead space fancy duds. Space like, duds. duds. <laughs> <laughs> he ate his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he ate his clothes. Why don't you eat normal duds? No, why don't you eat clothes? He got real clothes. He put duds. <laughs> what are duds? I've never heard duds used for it's, clothes before. It, I don't know. It's like a, uh, what they said in the 80s. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I thought check out my new box. <laughs> you, know, you, never, you never heard like check out my new duds. Yeah. Right. I've yeah. never, ever heard that. Is that. Only in old movies. Is that Greece? Maybe like the fifties? I don't even Maybe. know. I don't know. Yeah, in LA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> space LA. Or in space. space <laughs> All right. So he does this. Space he didn't candy. find a box of fancy chocolates in your inventory. <laughs> 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 I feel so stupid. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's fancy space duds. I'm like, okay. It's a box of space duds. <laughs> Why would you assume duds are chocolate? Like milk duds? What else duds. would they be? It's like milk duds, right? Oh, I forgot about milk duds. They could smuggle in my bird servitor. <laughs> no, that would make it a little too obvious. But yeah, so just tweets. You know way. what? He put chocolates in your in your in your uh, in your in, in your stew. Oh <laughs> but, boy! But, he doesn't, but they've been saturated by the stew by the time you eat them. You also put Tabasco sauce in there, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't quite go together. Mm, but chocolate chocolate's not bad. Tabasco sauce. Yeah. So unfortunately, none of your belongings were small enough for him to smuggle in. Apparently. Yeah. <clears throat> but he said he'd do something about it. So, but he, he said he went through the belongings. He went through his belongings. Only. Oh, they all separated by person. Yeah. Okay. Well, you never told me you were an inquisitor, so that's true. I assume they're all kind of thrown together, but that makes more sense. Yeah. Anyway. Nah. So you go to sleep tonight, unless there's anything you want to do today. So Constantine will kind of sneak over to Wilfred's bunk at one point and go, Sir, I, 
You have to beg my forgiveness. I'm sure as a member of the Inquisition, you come up with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been waiting for your signal, but I figure I must have missed it. <laughs> this loyal servant of the Emperor is ready. Whenever you... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like put your plan into plan. action. My plan is to develop a plan. It was... Uh, and then plan accordingly. The only course of action we have is to gain his trust. Seems to be going well. I'd say wait. Right, or, so I'm, I'm, I'm more of a reactionary <coughs> kind of man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of react to events as they happen. Wait for his signal? <laughs> You'll wait for my signal. All right, all right sir. I'm yeah, ready. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're just going to palm me in the ship wherever yeah, you want. Yeah, like... <laughs> but like not well. <laughs> One of us is gonna get accidentally sad. <laughs> like the signal is gonna be crossed. He's gonna cough in somebody's direction. <laughs> <I'll just> like, <laughs> 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 <Free Emperor! laughs> no, the poor ambitious road trader died too young. <laughs> it was a mistake. All right, don't do this. So you go to sleep tonight, the fifth night. Unrestful sleep once again. Uh, in fact, you have a hard time sleeping at all. Mm. And I'm sleeping, I'm waiting. Does this have any effect on our? This is not a lot like real life, actually. Not right now. Not right now. You, you over time, you definitely feel tired, but I'm not going to have it affect your shock or your wounds yet. Um, but uh, what little sleep you do get, you kind of you do all eventually drift off at the the end of the the short night that they give you, and you are awoken by the sound of uh, alarms, klaxons ringing in the distance. Hmm. Yeah, Bisty, you can hear the, the sound of, and you can hear the sounds of fighting and auto gun fire. Oh, wow. And when you look out, your sound. guard is not there. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> and so you just, and you just, you can just Clax hear the sound. scuffle going on Clax all sound. around you. <laughs> What's the klaxon sound like? Like an alarm. Yeah. But like wee hoo wee hoo. Or or, zone. Me, 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 yeah, there we go. Me, 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 me. Like a fire alarm. It's probably it's probably one of the really annoying ones. Like ah eh, ah eh, ah eh, ah eh, ah. Eh, eh, it's just a eh, server eh, that makes eh, that noise. Eh, He's <laughs> programmed just. The, <laughs> I'm thinking of like submarine alarm. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah. So you can hear this all going on around you. You can hear auto gun fire off in the distance, and obviously you're. I'm not able to do anything. And you can hear yelling and bang, 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 and all of a sudden you hear more yelling and um, the, the sounds of shouting. And it's, it's definitely it's coming from every direction. Um, so whereas you heard the occasional yell and stuff, now you're hearing. It sounds like a, a general riot. I'm not, right. you're not quite sure how, given the fact that everybody's in their individual cells. And you feel this very this very big unease, wondering what the heck is going on, and feeling trapped in your cell, clutching tightly to the shiv that you created, and feeling the sweat. Working its way into the a little more comfortable, actually. <laughs> right, you're like, oh, this feels like home. Um, and about five minutes into this pass, and all of a sudden, your cell door just goes, and it, and it just opens half a foot. All according, to, all according to plan. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, sir, but I am amazed. Magic of the Inquisition. <laughs> What about Magic sounds like heresy. <laughs> I knew you oh, had no. a plan. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mind this. I'm going to peek out in the hallway. So as you go up to the door and you touch it, you realize the door is now loose and you can actually pull it, you can push it all the way open. Okay. So Get out of my way, I need space! Well, it's the same stale air, but you can stand. Yeah. And you can stand fully uh, up. Stand. It's like seven oh. feet, like you're, you're like an inch away from the ceiling. You gotta watch as you walk as you smack your head <laughs> on doorways stretch. and stuff. Oh. You can finally stretch. So you, you, you step out, anybody who steps into the hallway, you're looking around, you can still hear the sounds from the different directions of the, the gunshots and the yelling. And uh, it appears the nearby sounds have died down, but you can hear it off in the distance. Are there more inmates? Like No, you're just, just, it's oh, just, just the one cell, and it's a little, there's two doors. The door you had come through to get in here, and then the other door the other guard was at. And the guard's not there. You didn't see him leave overnight, but he's not there. So the first course of action, we have to go back to the administrative desk and figure out where our belongings are, and then figure a plan out from there. Yes, sir, I'm ready to go. <laughs> So I, I turn. All right, when you can come with us if you want. We're heading back. Relay the same information. All right, everyone. I got <laughs> Wait, doing that. We're gonna go back to the administrative stuff. desk. Yeah. We're gonna find our stuff, and yeah. you're all welcome to come with me. Is that your plan? Yeah. I, 
I shrug and all right. Well, I got us this far. I'm not following your plan. <laughs> it was the same plan. Yeah, but you it's didn't better. do this part. <laughs> you didn't actually help at all. Uh, prove it. <laughs> this is all me. This is my plan. This is why the so door you're all the five years standing in the hallway. Just I'm I'm, just like, I'm heading back towards the door that we originally came through to get to this location <clears> from <throat> the from the direction of the administrative. Okay, so as you approach the door, you notice that it's actually open a crack. Oh. Uh huh. Is there like? I look through the crack. Is there fire on the? Is there heat coming through the side? Is there no, there's no, there's no heat. If you look through the crack, you can't see anything because the, there's there's another panel of the doorway, so it has to open up further I'll before, try it, before you can see. Is there anything I can try to just? It feels pretty heavy, but as you as you do it, it starts to creak a little bit. But you feel like your strength alone is not enough to pull it open. I I need help. I'll be there to help you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we can do a combined action to try to open this door. So how does that work? Yeah. Is that what you decide? Yeah. Well. As you may ask how a combined action works. Basically, you're going to have the main person doing it, and we can have, like, let's say, two people helping. Oh, what's your strength? Uh, combined action's on page 52. Four? four? Yeah. Uh, I'm 12, 8 if I do athletics. I'm 8 if I, yeah, I'm 8, eight okay. if I do athletics as well. Yeah, I'm on 4 as well. I'm only 4 when I'm in my armor. So basically, oh. you have one person as a lead, the other one's with the assistants. <clears throat> Everybody declares the skills they'll be using. In this case, obviously, it'll be athletics. Yeah. Unless you can think of something else that you'd want to do to assist. Anybody else have any other skills you'd want to use? Leadership. You just want to stand back. <laughs> you and can go do it. Is that what you pull use? harder? Use your legs. Okay. Uh, tall man go high, short man go low. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna stand behind these two. That's your assisting is gonna be to lead them? Yeah. Okay. I'll lead. So the difficulty of leading obviously is not gonna be quite as useful as actual pulling, so we're gonna make that a difficulty of five. Oh. Uh, the difficulty of opening the door we'll say is a three. Um, so basically, each of you make your test, not you, not the, who's the lead, sorry. It doesn't really matter. Wait, I who's can... the lead? It can't be the leader, it has to be somebody actually trying to open the door. Sure, I'll all take the lead. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that, that means the two there. of you make your rolls, DN3 athletics check, <clears throat> DN5 uh, leadership test, and then the lead character can add a bonus die for every assistant that passes their own assist test. Oh. You don't use wrath dice for the assist test. Oh. Sure. And you can shift your exalted icons, if, uh, if you, any shifts oh. basically give bo more bonus dice. Oh, you just got That's it. a five. Oh, one, two, oh, six, three, four. So you passed. You yeah. succeed. So you can't shift those. So nope. you get, did you succeed? I passed. Did you get to shift anything? No. Yeah. And we don't worry about your wrath dice. <coughs> so you get two extra bonus dice to your athletics checks. DM three. Oh, oh I killed it. <laughs> wow. And I can shift four dice. No, you get a wrath die for this. I do. Oh, I got oh you did. Okay, there you go. Five, that little tiny die. Yeah. yeah. So How many uh, times can you shift? Four times. I want you to throw one of those in the middle. I'm gonna throw one of those in the middle. <laughs> yeah, an extra glory there. And did you say there was like another panel on the other side of the store? Or yes. Is it... <clears throat> yeah. So what would you like your extra shifts to do? I would like it to uh, be that through the strength of um, both of us, that opens up the entire panel slowly and so reveals yeah, the next room. Oh, so you get both of the panels open because of it, it. like it connects <laughs> and like some mechanism locks in, like reacts to one door opening, it opens up the other door. Yeah. Okay. So you shift it really hard, just crash it open with the with the help of Dutch and the fine leadership skills <laughs> of, of Kanye back there. <clears throat> As he goes, he, oh, you feel that extra inspiration. You're like, oh, we've got to do it this way. Bam! And with ease, you open up this door. And immediately, as you look into the next room, you're kind of taken aback by the fact that you see several bodies lying around. Uh, mostly prisoners, but there's one guard as well lying dead on the ground. Is it Brander? It's not Brander. Okay. And the next door is open. Take his gun and, and his arm. But it's, it kind of curves around, so you can see the next room as well, you see more dead bodies. <coughs> so in this room, I uh, scavenge about. We're trying to keep a good pace. Any immediate weapons, any like okay. bulk, bulk, like auto guns. So you want to kind of scavenge the bodies as you're going as, along? As we're going, yeah. Um, you can give me an awareness test, difficulty three. Is there any identifying marks on these bodies? There's prisoners of various types. Mm -hmm. You don't see any of the oh. high. You don't see any of the gang yet. <clears throat> if you're looking for the high brats, they're in Delta Brig. Yes, uh, this is Alpha yeah. Brig. Right. Uh, seven. Wait, seven. Yeah, there's the wait. No, you threw seven. Yeah, I threw seven. Okay. So I got, I, I got it, but no shifts. No shifts. No shifts. Okay. All you managed to, as you search the bodies in the first couple of rooms, all you managed to find is an equivalent of a shiv. Dang. So nice. Well, I guess I'll pick it up. I'm just kind of like, as I'm walking, I quickly see it, I'll grab it, pick it up and keep moving towards okay. the next door. <clears throat> What's everybody else doing? 
We'll do an awareness real quick too. Okay, so fun. since it's already been, we've been every additional awareness, I'm going to add two to the difficulty. Okay. So yours is awareness difficulty five. Yep, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, complication. Nope. There's a complication. What would you like the complication to be? I have an idea. If you don't, <sighs> um, I, nothing immediately comes to mind. Nothing immediately. No. Okay. So as you're searching through the bodies. <clears throat> You overturn one of the bodies of one of the prisoners, and you see his hand open up, and gunk, 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 is a primed frag grenade. <laughs> my, right, my. right next to you. So give me, um, what's, what is our dodge equivalent here? That's it. Is there an, is, I think it's athletics, actually. Is, right. athletics, is, is athletics agility based? Strength. strength based. It's strength based. The only ones that are agility based are. Ballistic skill. You know, give me an agility roll then. An agility roll? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It'll be a difficulty three to avoid this. I'm doing and uh, I'm going to randomize. <laughs> Hold on. You as well, Abigail. You happen to be nearby when this mm. happens. Both well, you give me agility, difficulty three. Uh, nope. Failed? Oh, failed. Ooh. Nope. Oh, you're but you can add glory dice too. Can you add glory to this after you roll? You can. Or you can use Wrath to re-roll it. Because you're pretty close. Because you're about to get hit by a frag grenade. Yeah, I probably should re-roll this then. Or you can you just take a die from there if you wanted to. But I only add one. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to use a Wrath? Yeah. So Abigail is using a Wrath. Oh, no. Re-roll the fails. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh. No. <laughs> no. No complication or anything? No. But now you can take a Glory die and add it if you wanted to. Or is that How many did you get? Did you get two? I have two. No, after well, re-roll. if you grab a Glory, you just need a four plus to avoid it. We've got... <laughs> We've got some. Yeah, we got yeah, we got some. Go we can only have up to five, right? <clears throat> or no, seven? seven? Or is it I think two plus I think it's your. I think it's your group plus two. Yeah, it's the group plus two. So seven. Yeah. So you're fine. Yeah. Okay, so we just I'll, used I'll the glory. glory. Glory's being used. Can you add roll four plus? Luck says. I can't. <gasps> oh, okay. So both of you fail. And you both take ten <gasps> damage. <gasps> Frag grenades hit pretty hard. Mm. Um, so what's your resilience? Six. So you take four. What's your resilience? Four. So you take six. Would you like to uh, mm. to soak those wounds? Yes. <laughs> okay. So soaking, you basically lose a shock to be able to soak. You roll number of dice equal to your toughness. We don't do a wrap die <clears> for this. And every icon moves the wound over to shock damage instead. Okay. So I'll take it. No wrap die for this. Yep. You don't want to take it. Oh, oh. Nice. soaked it all. So you were taking you were taking four damage. So you soaked it all. So you take yep. so you One. lose five shots. And you're not able to shift any of this though, right? No, this, no, there's no shifting. This is just to see how much you convert. There's no wrath die or anything. And so are you exhausted now because you used all your all your shock? He doesn't have to use them all. But taking damage sucks too because the first point of damage you're lightly damaged. Right? Actually, do you, do you have a choice not to shift them know. when you soak? <clears throat> can you like does it say you can up to, or do you just have to do all of it? Of course, it's not right there. Soaking. It's not a test. Soak rolls, blah, 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 blah. Cost of soaking. You can use Wrath to re roll with soak. Uh, Choosing to soak costs one shock. Yes, we know that. One shock. <clears throat> Pretty unfortunate grenade there. What's exhausted give you? You can only take one action. It slows you down big time. For heroes, hold on. Why am I not seeing it? I remember seeing it. Damage, shock, shock and troop, shock and wounds. Here we are. Soaking. The roll to shock is not a test, does not use a wrath dice, nor to have difficulty. Thus, the soak rolls unaffected, such as being wounded. Soak. These are the rules for NPCs. This is pretty much Rob. <laughs> huh. Is he from the East Coast? <laughs> He's from down east. <laughs> what am I missing? Why am I not seeing where it actually says that you shift over? You, you know, I'm just going to say that you have to. You're on 227, right, Matt? I was. Yeah, because that's the cost of soaking. You make a toughness roll to reduce the damage suffered at a cost. See the cost of soaking below. After soaking the damage, any remaining damage counts as wounds. It's not a test. 
But where does it say you convert wounds to shock? <clears throat> Well, right, just for the case of the, the sake of speed, we're just going to say you have to. Whatever you roll, that's how many you have to do. Sure. So you're exhausted. Yes. <clears throat> Sad. Oh, no. What about you? I soaked one. Okay. How many wounds do you have? Five. And how many did you take? Five. Oh, you're unconscious. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. the complication. Boom. All right. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> <Set of breath. laughs> it, was a good do- it was a good dodge. Yeah, basically you dodged really hard. And so you, you turn it over, the frag grenade, all of a sudden you realize it was holding one and it kind of clinked next to you. You both try to jump out of the way and there's a huge explosion that just it knocks everybody back and the, a bunch of bodies go flying. And after the explosion, you, Abigail just flumps to the ground and you're, you hit the wall and kind of hit slouch down as well, but you get, pick yourself back up. Just, yep, the Emperor protects. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. You feel a little charred, your, your clothes are... <sighs> Or, or singed a little bit, but Abigail is lying unconscious on the ground. So I hear, I hear the explosion, <clears throat> I run over. You seem to be immediately fine. Yeah, he's like getting himself back up, <clears throat> like catching his breath. We go, I'll go up to Abigail just to look her over. Is she obviously alive? Or is she looks? She, she looks, she's got burn marks on her, um, and she's unconscious. You want to try to stabilize her? Uh, I'll, I'll try to. If I could do anything quick for my... Uh, uh, extensive knowledge of Medicaid. <laughs> so it's a Medicaid check, which I believe the DM is going to be paper. three. <laughs> Hold on a second, one second. I think the DM's three, is that right? For stabilizing an unconscious person? Three plus failed. Um, you haven't death. failed any defiance yeah, exactly. yet. So mm-hmm. hold on, Medicaid. I'm sure you can do it. I just, this is what I immediately do. I do it. Like, no, not like. You get plus one if you use it on yourself. The difficulty to stabilize a dying character equals two plus the number of defiance checks. So you only need DM two. Oh, okay, cool. So Medicaid check with DM two. What's your Medicaid? Three. Three. Nice. Can I give aid to that? Um, yeah, I got it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, no, you got it. You got it. You got it. So I, th- this is pretty much the... the uh, two! <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you patch up some of the... And you start patching up some of her burn marks. Too. Right. So I, I see if she immediately wakes up. So you're, you're restored to one wound and you do come to feeling like crap and having burn marks all over you. And it's kind of like a, a tear away at some of the prison garb, like uh, an o- I tie up an open wound. Yeah, like yeah, some of the burn like marks and stuff. Classic. I, you're, in, you're, in, you're in great pain. Yeah. At this point. I look over and I say, that was an explosive experience. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. I laugh in character. <laughs> totally inappropriate, but highly entertaining. So the sounds of alarms are still going off in the distance. We have to go. You got to get up. We got to go. And we're going to take a break there. I might be safer here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty big complication. Is she capable of like, move, still, like still moving freely and there's nothing slowing her down at this point? Well, she's not I'm, in shock, so I'm she's not wounded. exhausted. She's just really hurt. Okay. Well, Remember, it's that. abstracted damage. It is, yeah. And so you ha- I'm going to say that you know, you're burned all over, but you're able to, to get up and keep moving. <coughs> but you are in great pain. It's kind of like one of those like knockout. Like, well, you're heavily knockout. wounded, so it's plus. Yeah. She has plus two difficulty on all of her tests now. Yeah. Everything. That's rough. <laughs> so what would happen if you believed in the Emperor more? So did you pass your awareness test though? Did you fail it and get the complication, or did you just pass it and get the? Complication? I passed it and get the complication. So you passed it. Yeah. I thought you. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay, I so you're I, so you're searching. You, you find the equivalent of a ship as well. I don't remember if you did. We'll just say you did. Sure. For your troubles. A third ship. So you find a second ship. <laughs> We get to kill two people at once. Ugh. Are you gonna keep it for yourself? Or are you gonna hand it off? I already I have one, sir. But I found a shiv. I, I, mean, I immediately point over to the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a knife. Okay, I'll stare down at you. Give you the handle of it. And grab your hand. <laughs> your tiny hands. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a 15-minute oh, break at this point. So we can go to the bathroom or do whatever we need to do. Uh, during this 15 minutes, as soon as we can, we'll turn it back on. We'll just kind of chat with the chat. So, chat. BRB. Sarah, my... We're back. <laughs> no, we're back. We're back. Sorry, I was reading something. <laughs> we're back. Okay, we're going to continue. So, you've just, so, you're still in these first couple of rooms. Managed to find a couple shivs and a primed frag grenade. Yes. No, oh, but we lost that. Yeah, you lost a grenade. But we gained the experience of it. Yes. We lost the grenade. And on burned Abigail. Abigail. A very sore, very and, burned and a, Abigail. And a, very, and a very tired, and a, and a very tired um, uh, Constantine. Yeah. 
It's on the ground holding my knee. I really want to try and reenact that scene from The Simpsons where he's buying the weird hand from the, the creepy salesman in the store. Monkey's paw? Yeah, the monkey's paw. It's like the yogurt. What yogurt. would you like to do? <clears throat> Can I see if one of those PDFs is on the floor for the doors? P oh, you mean the data slates? Yeah. Um, you don't find any of that. Do you want to start searching around as well to see yeah. what you can find? Okay, so as you're passing through, you can do a search as well. It's going to be a difficulty seven now. Oh, Awareness. Oh, can I use cunning? Or investigate? It won't be investigate, but uh, you know what? I'll allow you to use cunning this one time because <laughs> you're, you're, used, you're, used, you're used to battle zones and, <laughs> and trying to find stuff quickly on the fly. So I think cunning well, would be somewhat appropriate. That. You know, you, you look for the usual locations. <laughs> yeah. It, for oh my goodness! <laughs> yep, that, that wow. definitely grabs one of the bodies. Wow, I think it's a grenade again. <laughs> did you roll complication? I <laughs> did. Did you roll any? Did you get success at least? I got three successes and three a lot of ones. Yeah. yeah. What do you want? The Emperor's five ones. Shield. <laughs> so what was your total number three. of icons? Three. Well, so you don't roll any sixes. Well, no, no I rolled one six and then one four and a five. four. Okay. Did you want to re-roll or anything? Yeah. You have to keep that one. Yep. So you're going to use your other wrath. So Abigail uses her other wrath. I think she has none now, right? I have, I'm out. They replenish every session. Which is a shame. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is you want my dice? Just as bad? It, my yeah, dice. it pretty much is. Did you get your seven? No. No. And you got a complication. All right, what would you like a complication to be? It's not a frag grenade. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. But it could be if you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just give me the frag grenade. <laughs> <laughs> hey, forget it. End my it's not even prime. You just you just grab a frag grenade and prime it. <laughs> so you, do you know what you want for a complication? Because no, I'm I'm at max ruin, so I'm gonna do something. Okay. Uh, yeah. You going with something? <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I got something. So as you're searching through the bodies, um, you actually you're you're in the you've, you've gone on to about the third or fourth room at this point. You're just finding more of the same. It looks like there was. If you find bodies with gunshots in them, other ones just bludgeoned to death, the occasional guard amongst them, but you don't find, like, the guards are, they don't have their weapons on them. Um, the prisoners obviously. took them. Yeah, obviously, whoever <laughs> killed them took their weapons. You come into one room, though, and there's, like, there's one of the guards slumped across against the, the wall with no obvious signs of things that have killed him. And as you reach down to kind of search through him, all of a sudden he just jerks up and attacks you, just an unarmed attack. But his eyes are closed as he does this. So he immediately attacks you. Let me just get his stats. <laughs> Die again? <laughs> it's okay. What's your defense? Defense is two. Woo! Defense is usually low. Yeah, yeah I'm three. So, what are you so three? we're looking at a weapon skill oh, roll two. of... Ooh. Uh, five. I think your initiative minus one. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a plus one difficulty, just considering the fact that he's kind of prone getting up and attacking you. So he actually has to get three, which he fails, actually. Nice. Okay. So he swings wildly at you as you just back out of the way just in time. Now one of you can act. You're all kind of close by. Only Abigail is right next to the guy. Who would like to act first? Yes. Go ahead. I'm gonna try and talk him down. His eyes are closed as he's getting up. Eyes still remaining closed and just swinging wildly. It's a very weird thing. So what are you going to say to him? Well, buddy, calm down. We're not here to hurt you. You just you sit back down. You recover. It's fine. We're just passing through. Okay. It doesn't seem to have any effect. I'm not going to lie to you and have you roll. Oh, good thing. Because <laughs> there's a complication right there. But yeah, he just, he just he keeps blundering forward <laughs> trying to swing wildly. So, um, I think I'm correct. Who wants to go six, next? Six, Who wants six, to try something? Work, right? I guess uh, I'll walk up and just try and not punch him out. Just punch? Yeah, I'm not gonna try and kill him. You're not gonna use your <clears> shit. <throat> just gonna yeah. punch him out. Yeah. So you're gonna you, you're trying to knock him unconscious. Yeah. Okay, make an attack. His defense is uh, two. This so is you're making a weapon skill attack. Still on our weapon skill. So it's eight. Eight is your weapon skill? Yeah. Well, that's not great though. I got a, I got <laughs> two icons. You got. So you hit him. His oh my! Is, his defense is two. Got him. So an unarmed attack. <coughs> I don't think you add any extra dice. It's just your strength. Yeah. He's wearing, like, some moderate carapace armor, like, just, like, a, a lower level. So what is, what is your strength? My strength is four. Okay, so you just kind of, like, blunt your hand against his... Did you really not roll anything for unarmed? I think it's plus one AD. Is it just plus one AD? <coughs> yeah, I think it's strength plus one AD. 
I I'll roll that now to see if I get it, then we can figure it out. Oh, I actually got it. Not, I don't know if it matters or not. So what'd you get up to? Five. Okay, so an unarmed attack. What does it even say? Melee attacks. Unless you're, unless you're trying to do something like a grapple. I'm just trying to, like, one of those, like, classic movie, like, oh, this guy's, uh, one hit, one hit one hit punch, he's just, unconscious, let's keep Trying to knock him out? Strength yeah. plus one ED. Strength plus one ED? Yep. Is there a penalty to swing roll with it, or no? Nope. Okay, so what was your total damage, then? Five total damage. Okay, unfortunately, that's not enough. Yeah. He's kind of, kind of, kind of like, cracked into <clears> his armor, <throat> and he just, he keeps blundering forward. Anybody else want to try? I heard. I'm, that's my, I'm still out of breath. That's all, three, all three of you still can act. <coughs> you guys have knives. I'm afraid to act now. We don't, we don't have time for this. I'm going to shank him. All right, weapon skill attack with your shiv. Uh, eight. Oh, that's weird. You uh, needed two. Two? We oh, can shift two. Okay. Ooh, can't oh. shift any of these. We didn't roll any sixes. You got two sixes. Oh, those are sixes. Two sixes. Yeah, those yeah, the ha -ha -ha's are sixes. Yeah. yeah, sorry. The ha -ha's are sixes. So I need... So I got it. Uh, so you can shift two of the dice, two damage. Nice. Yeah, two damage. Hit. So you're using a knife, so that base is two plus one, and then you add your strength as well. What's your strength? Uh, my strength is four. So you actually have six plus <coughs> the one plus the two for shifting. So, so roll three dice. Three dice. Two extra damage. Two extra damage. So it does two damage. Plus your strength. Plus my strength, which is four. So six, six. damage plus the die you just rolled, which eight is damage. two. Which is two. So eight damage? Yep. Okay, so you, you can feel your fist just kind of, or <coughs> your shiv, your shiv just gets right through the armor and does some damage to it, but it doesn't fall to the ground. Oh, wow. It, it, oh. it, it, it doesn't even react with any pain. Oh. Hmm. It's just, it keeps stumbling forward. Okay, so at this point it's surrounded, and so the other two of you won't be able to act before it can go again. Yeah, that's fine. And so it just, it just well it turns to you and just, um, and just wails at you with a, a, a strong punch. Your, what's your defense? Two. It hits you and shifts one of the dice to damage. He's unarmed. His strength is three. What's your resilience? Four. Okay. So if I roll, I don't roll any. So he does three damage. So he just kind of punches at you and you manage <coughs> to push it aside and just deflect it. Okay. And then one of the three of you who are next to it, or actually, sorry, one of the two, the two of you who are next to it can do an action. I've already gotten done my action. No, no, we're in a new round. Oh, we're in a new round. I, I guess at this point, he turns around. I see him get shanked. I'm just, I would join in this prison tactics. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll shank him from behind. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm not too dirty while I do it, but it's a means to an end. Ooh, critical hit. So we have five icons. No, I can't shift anything, so we hit. But uh, one is a critical. So you can shift that six. That's true. I can't shift. That's right. I forgot. So I will yeah, shift it also six. is a wrath. It is also a wrath. And we don't. You don't get glory for that one. I don't think. I think that's just the. What's that? It yeah. Is this. And the wrath is murderous onslaught. It takes D three plus one mortal wounds and is knocked prone. <laughs> Give me D three plus one mortal wounds, please. Three. Total. Yeah, he dies. So you just come out of the throat okay. repeatedly. <coughs> okay, let's keep this. Uh, <laughs> Keep it PG, man. Keep it PG. So you just kind of come at him, and, you, and he goes so hard that you just you just knock him to the ground, and he just sprawls to the ground. You can see blood soaking to the ground, and he's just lying still at this point. All right, now we're in the thick of things. <laughs> the whole thing was weird though because his eyes never opened. <laughs> he didn't, oh, did he scream out in pain? No. no oh no, my! No. So I'd like to check him after that. So you're going to do a Medicaid test on yes. it to see what we can see? Now, you're let's heavily let's see how I can screw this one up. You're heavily wounded, so it's plus two difficulty. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be a difficulty of five. Yeah. <laughs> 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 pops <on> his chest. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty five. Did you get a complication? No. no. Did you get five? I got four. Do you want to take a glory and roll glory? Thank you, make glory. So how many glory are left? One. One, one less? One. Yeah. Can you roll a four plus? I believe. No, oh, my dice! I can't roll a four plus. Okay. So if you look <coughs> over his body, you can't find any, besides the uh, the obvious two huge puncture wounds, uh, you can't find any any other signs on him of anything. You're not sure, though, if that's just because you're feeling kind of lightheaded and uh, disoriented, or some other reason. Or I'm still grumbling over at uh, Dylan over there. <laughs> I think he's dead. 
the guy you're checking. <laughs> we, I think they got him. We've got to go. we got to keep moving. This is weird. I agree. we got to go. Right? Yeah, we'll, we go. We'll see. I keep going down the same Does path. anybody else want to search while you're moving? The the armor that they're wearing, does it look like it'd be easy to get it off and get some of the armor on, or yeah. is it relatively complex? Um, well, you're a regular sized guy, right? You're not like yeah. one of these giants. Um, you, you can probably grab like the equivalent of, well, the problem is I don't have all the stats in front of me, but a simple flak vest kind of thing. Okay. I will grab the vest. You could, yeah, you can just say it's like armor. It's got a couple holes in it. <coughs> so do you want to give me an armor rating for it? Or? That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Flak? Flak is armor three. Yeah. No, just a flak vest. A flak vest. I'm not going to give you a full flak set of flak. Armor or coat, it's still three either way. You just, yeah, make it like armor one or two. Yeah, I'm probably just going to have it be slightly more. Where, what page are you on for that? Uh, 300. 300. Because it wasn't giving him much. I'm trying to find the equivalent here. Basic armor, flak coat. Yeah, it's not really that. It's more like equivalent to, I don't know, primitive armor. This is going to be a custom one. It'll give you armor too. Yep. You know, it's nothing too heavy. <clears throat> that suits you very well, nice, Dylan. Yeah. It doesn't quite fit properly, but it's good enough. It's Dylan. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the heat on Katachan sometimes gets to my head. Probably not on uh, What was your name again? Constantine. Sir. <laughs> Sir, I think there's something wrong with the catechin. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. <laughs> so, does anybody else want to search as you went along? It's DN9 now. No, that's okay. Yeah. You don't want to risk a roll of complication. <laughs> I'm going to do something that I don't have to roll for. <laughs> yeah. I know he's got armor, I'm not searching. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, the catechin's staring at me. <laughs> The guy's name tag is Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you continue on a few more rooms, and it's more of the same story. You can, and it's always you can always hear the fighting going on from beyond where you are, almost like it's, ahead, it's staying ahead of you as you move. And you come to the first guard room, and there's no window to this guard room. There's just the there's just the panel that leads into it, but you do recognize it for what it is because. Remember, there this being one of the checkpoints. Yep. So it's currently closed with a tech panel with a little uh, access thing right there. Do you want to try to get in there or just keep moving? I'm afraid to roll dice now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should It's be. only a one in six chance if something bad happens. Uh, <clears throat> it doesn't always have to be a frag grenade or... Or someone getting up to punch me or a panel blowing up in my face. <laughs> yeah, short circuit panel. <laughs> Well, tech panel, right? Oof. Yeah, it's some sort of security panel to open the door to the guard room. I could, you know, walk over and try and give it a beep and a boop. And a beep boop. You're going to try to hack Isn't it? Isn't it an yeah. Italian panel? Boom and a beep. All right, so you, you, you try the password that you thought it was first. Was it you that think all the passwords yeah. were the same? Yeah. And it doesn't work. Oh. But you do remember that they also had to it's hook in sub. some sort of data pad. You want to search one of the local guards, see if you, or search around, see if you can find a data pad? Yeah, I'll search a local crime boy. All right, no, give me awareness difficulty <clears> five <throat> for this. Specifically looking for a data pad on one of the guards. I tell people to help me. Give, give me free dice, guy. Uh, I'll, I'll help you take a look. I guess I'll... Please. I'll, I'll have quickly to, look I'll around. I'll punch it if I help. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you will help. You both both oh, of you take difficulty five awareness test. No wrath dice. Oh, yeah. Difficulty five. If you pass it, you get an extra die. Oh, I get one from I, I don't quite. Yeah. All right. You both fail? Yeah. I got it. Oh, you got it? So yep. one extra die. So go ahead. Four. <clears throat> so you don't find a data pad, but you can still try to hack it. It'll just be harder. Well, no, he's got other dice there. Yeah, he's, he didn't get to it. He's used last, oh, last glory. glory die. Do we need a five? Is that it? Or a four? Oh. I, need, I need difficulty. Five. Oh, DF. Yeah. yeah, okay. Huh. Hey! Got it. You got it. Okay, so you do find one. Most of the guards have been looted for it. You do notice that. But you do find one. So this will make the tech test a little easier. I'm going to give you a plus two to your tech test. It is going to be difficulty five to hack it, though. <coughs> What's your tech? Well, it's seven plus two. So nine. Difficulty five. Piece of cake. Easy, right? Oh, complication. Yeah. One, two, three, four. A lictor five, comes out. Well, at least that's <laughs> Somebody threw so a there. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like the complication to be? 
doesn't open. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, he succeeds. It oh. shorts but... out the data pad. Okay, so, so there we go. can't pull anything from I it. like that. Mm, I so like as you it. go to use it, yeah, there's a there's a Door discharge of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Not a frag grenade. You manage to pull your hands away just in time, but it does fry the circuitry, the circuit board on the, the data slate, so it's useless now. I like that. That's good. The door does open at this point, though. As right. it opens and you look inside, it's a small room. You can see that there's a little panel there as well, and you can see a, like a couple of screens <clears throat> that would display what the security cameras can see in the local area. Um, and one of them being right out to the room that you're in right now, so they can check whoever's holding identification. Uh, inside, <clears throat> you find two guards, one male and one female, and both are lying on the ground, both appear to be dead. Okay. Uh, Wait, up here. Let's finish them. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> All right, well, start patting them down. I'm going to rob them. Okay. Which one are you going to start with, the male or female? The female. <laughs> Because <laughs> because her clothes will probably fit me better. She actually you actually see her lying there. She's holding a, what appears to be a shock mall. Uh huh. So all right. Be nice. You're gonna go for that? Oh yeah, sure. And it's gonna hit me. <laughs> it does swing it at you actually. <laughs> As you reach for it, all of a sudden she lurches forward, eyes closed, and swings full full tilt at you with the shock mall. I'm going down. Yeah, you're fine. No, I'm weak. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You gotta believe it's fine. Weapon skill five. What's your defense? Two. We're gonna make it a three just because it's the first initial roll and she's kind of getting up at the same time. Uh, sorry, three. So I get it and I get to shift one die to damage. <laughs> Shock Maul is four plus two extra dice Traitor. plus a strength of three, so it'll be seven. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. What's your resilience? It's five. So you take four damage. Would you like to soak? I would like to soak. So you lose a shock, just to soak, and then roll whatever your soak is, which is what? No, I'm it's four. Okay. I'm hoping I don't I succeed on all of them. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so you soak all the damage? I do. Uh, I do. <laughs> and you lose one oh, extra I shot. Do. do you take any wounds from it? I'm going to take D3 plus one back, though. It takes an action. Uh, so take that back. It's not your turn yet. Unless you want that to be your turn as you're standing there getting smacked. It'll, it can probably fit one more person next to you to fight this, this female guard. So you guys see him go in, and all of a sudden you hear, ah, oh, bam! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell for one of my voidsmen. So whose turn is it now? Are you gonna take your turn now, then? No, I'm just gonna yell. Someone come over and stab this thing. Now you can, you can do a multi-action. Do the action to, with the wrath to get D3 plus three shock back, and then do another action like attack <clears throat> immediately with a plus two difficulty. Well, I will do a multi-action. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Here you go. So one wrath being used by Kenny. Yep. So we get D3 plus three shock back. That's pretty uh, good. That's one. Four, four. Out of five. That's not too bad. And then I'm go uh, my multi action is to disengage. Okay, so your action is going to be disengaged, and then you're going to do your move, which you can do now because you're not exhausted. Yeah. Because when you're exhausted, you can only do one move or one action. Yeah, I had to free myself from this horrible place. Yeah. And so you're gonna, you're gonna run out of the room. So you see, you see uh, Kanye run out of the room, clutching his arm, which has a big bruise and all the hair is standing up on edge. Uh, Voidsman, there are more corpse men in there. So were you the only one? That, oh, so it's their turn now, their action. No, they, they did theirs. We, everybody else still has their turn. Oh, can we just close the door. And I was gonna say, away? is anyone else in the room? Can we just like, boom, shut the door and leave? Uh, um, we would need the data slate for that. Oh. Guess what happened to that? <laughs> Unfortunately, the door is. Yeah, you don't have control over the control panel right now. Do they seem to be moving at normal human speeds? It's hard to say, because you didn't see much of what was happening. <coughs> uh, Give him a stab. You've done it once. You're already a criminal. Uh, <laughs> I just want it so bad. Uh, okay. All right. Um, does no one else want to go first? I'll, 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 fine, I'll make the first move. So you're going to go in? Uh, so you I'm turn not... the corner, you see this female standing up, kind of moving towards you with a big shock mall. Her eyes are closed. I go up with them. Try to do evasive maneuvers with my little <laughs> dumb knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, her defense is two. Do that defensive thing plus combat, right? Is there something for taking my ass? Something's defense is two. Okay, make your weapon skill attack. Uh, he's searching for some more defensive attack. I'm like, you know what? No, it's full defense. Never mind. Oh, never mind that. Yeah. Oh. Hey. hey, look at that. Defense two. We hit. We can shift one six to damage. Okay, how much damage? Oh, it's gonna be a total of six plus two extra dice. It's a total of six. <laughs> Uh, that does sh okay. You you got her re her resilience ah. is six, so you do D three shock damage. Go and ahead. And it's gonna be 
Three, three. shock that, damage. Okay, then she goes down. She only had three shock, so you actually knock her unconscious. Nice. <clears throat> so you kind of come in. Your the ship doesn't quite connect, but you manage to, to swing in a punch anyways, and she just falls to the ground. KO'd. As can far I, as you can tell, just lying there with her eyes closed. Is it uh, a minor action to pick up the shock mall? You mean a simple action? Simple action, that's what it was. Two simple actions. Sure. Yikes. So she goes down. Um, nothing else immediately happens. Let's go and pick up the shock mall. <laughs> Hold on one second. The shock mall attacks you. No! <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> no. The male stands up. Secretly, <laughs> <laughs> it was her husband. <laughs> Yeah, so the shock mall is operational, <coughs> so you can take that. Cool. Oh, I forgot. It's brutal and agonizing. <sighs> you, oh, hmm. found me what does way. agonizing do? I know brutal is that you get plus one of the... It's, I think it's something you so Agonizing. <coughs> For every wound that the weapon inflicts, the victim also suffers a shock. Oh. And an exhausted character who suffers damage from an agonizing weapon is rendered unconscious. But it's okay, because you soaked all the damage. Did you take any wounds? No. Okay, I'm so you, you managed to soak it all then, because if you got an exhausted and still had a wound left, it would have knocked you unconscious. Yeah. So this weapon is made for knocking things unconscious. Uh, can we go to Shock Maul? Sure. Shock Maul is 4 plus 2, AP minus 1, agonizing and brutal. It's actually quite a good weapon. That's a really good weapon. Yeah. Okay, so the female guard is lying on the ground, presumably unconscious. And then I'll so still I, breathing. Uh, you're allowed to move after you attack, right? I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, move, I'll move up to. Oh, the, no, you, well, you moved in. You've already done your moves. Okay, well, so we're, 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 we're shifting out of combat now. That's fine. Okay. So what is everybody doing? Um, so basically, <clears throat> what you saw happen is Kanye come running out, clutching his arm, and this female guard kind of start to stumble out, and then um, Wilfred just runs up and clocks her in the face. I did it this time. And she falls to the ground, and he just picks up the shock maul. Triumphant standing over now her body. Now we're gonna loot them. Does the male look to be waking up? I got the. Give me an awareness ball. DN3 test. I got the, the shock ball ready. Whack. Whack I got it with Whack. exactly three, but there's a complication. What's the complication? Well, you notice that his, his head is currently bleeding a lot. There's a big pool of blood and a lot of blood coming out of his head. So he appears dead. What's the complication? Oh, jeez. That's a tough one. Um. I don't notice the third man under the de the computer desk. Actually, I got a complication. <laughs> <laughs> he has a shock mole as well. Ooh. But when you go to pick it up, you notice that it's broken. Okay. Oh, but he had a shock. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So it can only operate as an industrial bludgeon <clears throat> unless somebody wants to try to fix it. Um, I will attempt to fix it. I so guess. So difficulty seven, either with weapon skill or tech. Oh, actually, weapon my skill, weapon skills. Weapon good. skill is also how you you can maintain weapons as oh, well. Cool. My weapon skill is eight. I, so you know, I've, I've I've come across shock malls in my life. Yeah, I'm sure a complication here will be all right. You said D seven. Yeah, D N seven. It's five normally, but plus two because you don't have any tools. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Just look at that. I think yeah, I got it. Seven. Four, five, six, seven, and I got. Oh, I get to add a glory to the pool. I got six on the rat die. There's an extra glory there, and I can't shift. No shifting. That's exactly seven. So fixed it. Wow. Oh, see. it was just off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a second shock mall. Would I'm you look at that? I, I'm, I'm doing really shock malls. <laughs> I give it to oh, sir. Yeah. Thank you. That, that amazing, by the way. No, no. All right. It's, it's, just, right who, it's just who I most immediately trust. Didn't open too, it makes right? sense. Yeah. That? You said her eyes didn't open too. Correct. Can I search her too with Medicaid? Search her or check her body? Check, yeah. Yeah, give me a Medicaid roll. Remember, you're heavily wounded, so yep. plus two to the difficulty, so we're going to be looking at a difficulty of five instead of three. Yep. One, two, three. three. Factor four. Look at Just DN7. No four. Problem. Four. All right, right you, once again, you're, you're perplexed. You can't tell why these <coughs> they people They aren't open are... their eyes. They're not yelling out in pain. Is she still uh, alive? She's breathing, yes. She was knocked unconscious. Mm. Dutch, uh, to keep this PG, Dutch is going to uh, leave no stern, uh, no stone left unturned. Oh, he's got to. <laughs> oh, you got to murder the female guard. Oh yeah, catch and style. Okay, is, with, with the grenade in the tent. No, with a uh, with the shiv. Yeah, he just he just goes and he's like catch and style. Let's oh, kill okay. the commissar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all of a sudden yeah. Dutch steps forward and just swiftly finishes off the female guard. Yeah. Dispatches the female guard. Nothing to see here. Oof. It's, it is what it no, is. No, I think we have to do a transference of that knife that you got there. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a knife. Okay, cool. 
And I don't mean feed me the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a weapon, please? So everyone's got a weapon except Abigail now. Yep. Probably best. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> isn't Abigail pretty tuckered out? What out? happened last time you had a weapon? <laughs> Bang! Bang! I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have an extra knife. Would you, would you like this extra knife? Sure. All right, That'd be go. great. Now everyone's got a weapon. Now everyone's got a weapon. Yeah, you're invincible We're armed though. and dangerous. Or unstoppable. <laughs> we can fight back somewhat. Okay, why don't you guys put on that black armor? Um, I assume it won't fit me. Yeah, it, it doesn't fit the two giants. Yeah. Alright, I'll suit up. You keep saying giant, but I'm like six foot six. It's not that tall. Well. I mean, it's pretty tall. The the armor is too small for you. Right. Keep right. It wouldn't My thigh it w- protected. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can put one on. Yeah, I'll put it, ar- it provides armor too. Alright, cool. You can find one if you wanted to. Yep. Armor two. Armor two? That's something. It is something. I'm gonna write ghetto armor on here. Somewhere. Sir, just keep your I hope for a Medicaid kit. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I guess we feel too good. <laughs> so I guess we should search the rest of this room quickly. Okay. Give me an awareness DN three <clears> test. <throat> oh my. Uh, I got it with four. You got it with four? I okay, there is actually um, a first aid kit, a Medicaid kit, or what do they call them? Medicaid kit. Yeah. Is it just a Medicaid kit? Is there a specific number of usages in Medicaid kits? Does it say that? I don't, I don't think know. there was. Space, morphine, please. <laughs> don't have to spend any of your wrath if you just succeed on everything. Right? Look how good I am. Hold on. I only have one left, but I spent two. That's true. Where is it? What a while. A medikit, okay. Three away. Yeah, you can use it to. Yeah, it's not a charity, it's a tool medikit, it's just a basic medikit. Yeah, so it has a lot of uses in it. We're not going to give it a limited number. So you're able to pull that off of the wall. It's full of bandages and some medications and some disinfectants. Just your, your basic Medicaid kit. I point over the wall, fix yourselves up. we got to go quick. So you want to rest here? <coughs> try I to... assume that would kind of represent that, yeah. Unfortunately, a rest is an hour long. Oh my goodness. That's We're looking at, bad. they're not called rests, they're called respites. I thought it was a regroup. Does anybody know or how re- to no, re- I thought the regroup was the Medicaid long one. Is it? <clears throat> oh, it's 269. It doesn't matter. It's basically the equivalent of short rest and long rest. No. Oh, regroup. Yeah. <laughs> regroup. Has to last, it has to last Ooh. an hour. It allows you to tend to injuries, Oops. check your ammo, whatever. A hero recovers all shock during a regroup and can recover wounds with a successful Medicaid test. Does the me- what does the Medicaid kit do? I don't Medicaid allows, you, allows you to not. It allows you to get shock back without taking a rest. Is that, that's that's essentially what I'm suggesting we do. But I don't know if there's an yeah. actual time limit. I feel well. The each each, each Medicaid thing would be a few minutes to kind of patch somebody up and make them feel better, give them some adrenaline or whatever they have to to get you going again. I'm sure there's all sorts of different meds in there. I will continue to confusedly look at the Medicaid kit. And go, <laughs> I'm just gonna get the. Mm, I've never used uh, it. I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab it from him. Yeah, let me help no. you. <laughs> <laughs> Just rub it in. Give me this before you break this. I believe it's gonna be a difficulty three, but five for you because you're heavily wounded. Yeah. Oh. To restore shock. Still Hold better second. than Hold me on. though. Yeah, difficulty three. Yeah, dif- uh, successful Medicaid difficulty five. three. That's not bad. Restores D three plus five <laughs> shock. But I don't get the plus two. So you need difficulty five. So it'll be fine. My dice won't. Be fine. <laughs> Did you get a complication? I got oh. a complication, but I really passed. How, how much did you pass? Did you get any? Do you get to shift any dice? I do not get to shift. Aww. But I but I pass. So he gets D three plus one shock back, but the kit breaks. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was only another. The kit breaks. Space Ooh, what's the complication then? If it's not the you will get shot if you hog. Turns out the twice. kit didn't have as much it's medication true. in it. Yeah. As well. That's an easy one. It's been it's been well used and not restocked. So basically, it's so it's got limited uses. Okay, so we'll give it. We'll give it D3 uses. Oh, good point, good point. Uh, roll D3 remaining for me. After, after, after <laughs> you treat him. Go ahead. Let me roll D3. It's a used needle. <laughs> <laughs> one. Okay, it has one more use. Oh, jeez. And I get D, it's D3 plus one or D3? Yes, D3 three? plus okay. one. Oh, man. So two shot. You're no longer exhausted, though. Well, I feel better. <laughs> <clears throat> just got to avoid the random frag grenades. And- <laughs> Dylan, are you okay? Gotta kill Please, enemies in Dylan. one shot. <laughs> you are Dylan. Don't you remember back on Kalachan? Yeah. Don't you remember when we fought the, the, the devils? Don't you remember? 
Sir, I think there's something <laughs> still wrong with the catechin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember that we called each other in mud? <laughs> I couldn't say that. Was <laughs> <laughs> we had to do the escape and we jumped over the waterfall. You don't you remember that one time? Dylan, it's you! <laughs> Sir, I don't know what to do. Alright, so everybody no. has an objective that they get they can do once per game to get a free wrath, so there you go. Yeah. His was to compare the current Dylan. situation to something. Dylan! Like that. <laughs> it's you! <laughs> I need, I need to get to my items. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get to my items for my, my objective. As I oh. slap you, you, like, it just, like, the blurriness wakes up and it's the, you're constantly, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, mean it. It's okay, Dutch. <laughs> As my big hand just whacked. <laughs> <laughs> whack. Big giant oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> we only have one use left. But, uh, I think Abigail needs it. As well, you can only use that during a, a rest. <laughs> right, okay. Because you can't. <coughs> well, actually, no, that's not true. You can do. You can do one Medicaid test between until you take a regroup. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you do it during a regroup, you can shift exalted icons to recover additional wounds. Cool. And you don't need a Medicaid kit to do this, so you don't have to use. Yeah, the wounds. Medicaid kit's just for. But if you do it on yourself, you're gonna need. You're gonna need um, a seven. lot. You're need seven because it's oh, four because yeah. you're heavily. Two, because you're heavily, because um, you're the one performing it, and one, because you're performing it yourself. Does anybody here know how to do Medicaid? Because I only have oh. seven dice for this. The 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 the, the wee boy can. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. I I only get four dice then. Well, or five on. dice. You're not just rolling dice without <coughs> talking to each other. Yeah. yeah. Are you? Any, anyone else need it? We're we're looking a little low. I don't need it. I'm good. No, you're no, good. No, I'm fine. Good. Just patch her. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Patch her up. So you sit down for a few minutes and patch up Abigail? Yeah, sit down. Don't oh. gross yourself out with it. <laughs> yeah, so it's difficulty four. Because you're not wounded at all, right? No, I'm fine, mostly. Are you exhausted? No, I got rid of a rat. You, you, oh, that's right, you got you rat. Rat. We're fine. <laughs> difficulty four. Oh, How about <clears throat> four? Okay, Actually, you that was one just more four, <laughs> never mind. You get one more. So two. exciting. Hey. Two wounds now. Good job. Still heavily wounded. One more, I could be lately wounded. <laughs> You've lost more than half? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. at five. You're at two out of five, right? Yeah. So one more and you're only lately. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, keep moving. Keep moving? Yeah. <clears throat> time to go. One room at a time until we get back to that administrative office. So up ahead, you can hear the sounds of uh, yelling and gunfire. Small, sounds, like, sounds like small arms fire coming from not too far away. It, it's, there's a shift. There's basically a a junction where it's going to be turning to the right. So you can't see it, but you can hear just around the corner. There appear, it sounds like there's a fight going on. And yelling. Getting against the wall, out of the way. All right, what are you all going to do? And sorry, there was, there was, um, it was up and around, you said it was Yeah, you're, you're close to it. You're, just, you're not at a door. The doors okay. are all open. All, okay. This whole passage has been open to you. Okay. Every year you walk in, all the doors are open. Oh, let's get ready for a kerfuffle. I say we just keep... Just just say, keep. Sir, do you want me to do a scouting mission to see what's going on up there? Not a bad idea. Go ahead. Form a textbook out of the book. You're going to stop... Fulfilling my... <laughs> requirement. Objective. What's your objective? Uh, it was relating back to the book, or... Here's your wrath. Thank you. We're leading back to the book. Book job. says be sneaky. Book says be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me so, a stealth roll, difficulty three. I'll give you um, plus one ooh. die because they are distracted. Okay. You pass? Pass with the four. All right, so as you look around the corner, you can see a big mob of uh, prisoners currently <clears throat> beating up a couple guards. And some of them are armed with what look like stubbers. Oh wow. Oh. And the other ones all have shivs. And they've just they just they are just finishing off one of the guards right now. Oh, so the, 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 the inmates look like they're armed with stubbers? Right. Okay. A few of them are, not so, all. So we're gonna cut through the inmates. Yeah. So I'm gonna go sneak back. Okay. Uh, sir, <clears throat> sure there's a there's a large number of inmates up there. I, I think they were quarreling with the guards, but I, I think the kerfuffle's over. Uh, hmm? armed with both uh, close combat and uh, ranged weapons. Yeah. It's very detailed, Dylan. Uh, uh, constant. What is your name again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep going in and out. What was, the room, what was the room like? Was did it was it open? Was there a lot of cover? Cover? Did it did it look like it was like when I? It's just it more a, corridor. It's, it's just corridor. another corridor. So there's no like sneaking around. He's kind of running into the open into yeah. the gunfire. Uh, 
Did you notice anything about <clears throat> their eyes? I didn't get close enough to see anything about their eyes. Who had the upper hand? The uh, inmates. The inmates that yeah. won the fight. <laughs> <laughs> the inmates. A distract. We could make a distraction. Call them over here and jump them when they walk around the corner. Yeah. I believe yeah. we should blend in. It is good. Or we could like feign fighting. Like make fighting noise over here. Some sort of conflict over here. What is and a fighting noise? Ooh. Ow. Oh. Ah! My money. Ah, I was... Get over here! Ow. Oh. Oh, Three you. of us <laughs> are dressed in the guard's armor. This is true. Mm. Theater. <laughs> what am I? I want to. Did I get a ballpark of how many of them there were? Like oh. ten of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is it a mob? Yeah, it sure looks like it. <laughs> unarmed, it? like unarmored. They're unarmored. just in their prison garb. With the a bunch of shields and a few stubbers. All right, let's move them over here. A couple of us way to the door. Yeah, like I assume there's like a yeah, place way behind the room. There's definitely places to yeah. hide. Like you can go, go back to one of the nearby doorways and you can hide around there. Let's make a. Com- is that that makes sense? Make a commotion. And they all come over. Yep. Just so you you want to take on all ten? Yeah. It's the only. It's, some, it's, it's either not we go, the only. Is that is that we go back? They have guns. We need <clears> guns. <throat> we need to get. We need to get in that. Close I mean, we need our guns, but we don't need to go through them. I believe we. Are there any this. guard bodies around here? Where we are right now, you've passed lots of them. None of them have any guns, though. How about we just drag some of those up and start beating them? <laughs> like beating, <laughs> beat, beat the dead bodies so they don't bother us. Yeah, if we just go back in our prison guard, our garb, yeah. and just be prisoners, and we can just join them and then just move around. Join the mob. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. I'm no coward willing to join these. It's not being a coward. Traitors. That we have to get our emperor's light. We have to go get our equipment. Though we go through them. We don't go through them, it's not enough. We don't have the firepower. We do have to, we have to play this one smart. We have the Emperor on our side, that's all the firepower we need. I like the idea of luring them, that's, that's... Textbook right. ambush. <clears throat> I'm with ambush. you. Ambush. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just... where are we going to set up the ambush? Who are we going to use as bait? Well, we just have to have a couple people making a commotion. Yeah, yeah I know. Who are going to use as bait? <laughs> <laughs> We both have shock malls, right? Yeah. Is, is there a room to wait on both sides of the door? Yep. We both have shock malls, so we're gonna we're gonna sit at the doors, or I guess we're gonna have the, <laughs> the shank. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Let's show them what a real prison riot looks like. <laughs> um. Okay, who do we want at the doors? Now I want the I want the malls at the doors because that's mechanically the best. So <laughs> walk, walk. <laughs> keep walking in. So we two, we're, we're, we'll wait at the doors, and we need you two to make a commotion from a safe distance around the corner, so they have to kind of walk into the room to <coughs> see what's going on. If if that'll even distract them at all, I don't know. <coughs> or we yeah. can try to see it behind them, but I like this. Idea. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> all right, begin the commotion. I start stomping <coughs> up and down. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yeah, you'll never take me alive. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> Any other commotion? Um, Sit still, still let me beat I'm you a little we're more. We're, waiting. We're, we're, we're both waiting at the door. Okay. Not peeking. So the only noise you're making is you yelling and you stomping on the ground? What are you gonna do? So, so you're dressed as a prisoner. No, I'm just... You, you wear the torn up guard outfit. You got your orange pants sticking out. They'll, they'll catch on. Okay, I'm still in prison guard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, only a few, a few of us got Who took the flag guard? <laughs> Who took the flag chest? Just, just Yeah, you two. So... Should be the three. Guy. Three. Yeah. Three of us. Everybody oh, you, you all have it. Everyone who could fit. I can't fit. Yeah, so you, you look like a prisoner fighting two guards. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh, so you're actually trying to like put it on the act? Yeah. So when oh, they come geez. around the corner, they see the, the three of you fighting? Yeah. Please, <coughs> get out. <laughs> Leave me alone! This is an injustice! <laughs> Justice. <You know. laughs> More stomping. <laughs> For the Emperor! <laughs> I don't know what skill that would be. Okay. Uh, deception? It's oh no, I'm not good at that. I'm no, just a, it's fine. We don't need I'm just a lowly accountant. Leave me alone. <laughs> Six foot eleven accountant. <laughs> I'm in the books. Okay, sure enough, you start to see some of them kind of come around the corner. Yeah. I'd view them look over and they're like, ah! They all start charging forward. I just... So, as the mob is coming through the door, uh, as a, as a one, couple of you guys, run through. one of you gets to attack. This is where we die. What's your weapon skill? Eight. 
Six. Because okay. you guys have initiative here. Mine's eight. All right. And you have a plus two bonus to attack roll and one to damage because you're the two of you with the shock mauls do. All right. So, so I am plus two dice. Oh yeah, it's plus two. Let's do it. Two more dice. All right. Uh, defense for these guys is three. Yeah. Kid. So the more hits, the more guys I hit in a mob. Is that how? Every two above the three, you hit another one in the mob. Oh, wrathing it up for a reroll. Oh, okay, man. so we're using a wrath. I'm at because using a wrath. I'm down to one. Left. one. And you only got three so far, right? I got four. I got five now. Wait, six. I have six now. Six total. So icons. you only hit two then. Because it was three to hit. Three to hit. So okay. you get the three, and then for every two above that, you only got three above that. So okay. I do hit two of them. So how much damage? Just roll damage once. It's gonna be a actually. Yeah, uh, I don't think. What's what's your minimum damage? It's the four. I rolled twelve damage. Yeah. Okay. So you kill two of them. Uh, easy. As they come as they come around the corner, you're just like, <laughs> bam, bam, and two of them go down. Now they can react next unless you guys want to spend a glory. A glory. We have glory. <clears throat> yeah, we'll we'll spend a glory. Go for it. Or Catachan may okay. I could stab someone. No, no, no. Because mm. it's my turn. We go back and forth. But we just took the glory. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, you're saying yeah. Yeah, you can do it. It's All right, so we're at a zero glory now. And uh, really who's going to go? Swing? Well, yeah, it's between the, the, the knife or the... I think the shock mall's going. Mall's but then he could get more hits. Is the issue. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. get more but hits you don't have surprise. Either. Only the shock mall has surprise. Oh, oh yeah, they didn't get more hits. Go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the plan. That's the plan. The shock mall. Well, actually, you know what? No, they're aware of you now. Now that the first guy got... The first I guess couple, they would. The first couple got the, the crap kicked out of them. <clears throat> they're aware. So nobody has surprise anymore. I mean, you your web skill six? Yeah. You hit on threes? It's still shockers. Could have guaranteed this skill one to hit. on fours. <laughs> De- defense three. <laughs> Sorry, they, yeah, hitting their... De- yeah, you need three to hit. I thought two teams are in That's a 50. Who's going? Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's take it. Ah! <clears throat> nice. Uh, so that is a grand total of... Four. So you hit one of them. How much damage? You got the shock mall? Oh, yeah. The so it's seven plus two extra. All right, damage. you kill one. Nice. They're, yeah. unar- they're unarmored. Right. That minimum of seven damage. Their resilience is not seven. Yeah. And, they, and since they're in a mob, they only have one wound each. We've already knocked them down to over our numbers still. <laughs> there's, seven <laughs> of, there's seven of them left. Okay, so now it's my turn for sure. We're going to get murder stabbed. Okay, so out of the, of the three that you killed, four pluses will be ones of stubbers. Two of them had stubbers. Woo! So there's three more with stubbers. I gotta, I gotta mark this down. I gotta lose control. Looks like we're all getting stubbers. <coughs> so there was, That'd be kind of cool. So there was five and five stubber. Stubber and shank and shit. Stubbers are pretty cool. Uh, from that's what I, I got modeled, right? Well, just, I think that's any little pistol, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Just like yeah, stubbers are your your, auto, your auto lowest. Pistol. No, they're, but they're not as good as auto pistols. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> auto pistols have, the, the difference is auto pistols have two salvo, whereas stubbers only have one. Okay, so it's like generic. It's like it's your lowest guy. level pistol. It's your glossable. Glock of the forty. Glocks are pretty good. I guess. Yeah, this yeah, is one of those thirty-two six shooters. I can't remember the name of the really crappy brand. Thirty-two. Okay, so oh. three of them with stubbers are gonna fire. Okay, they're each gonna they're gonna split their attacks between the two of you. So the I'll just roll the stubbers. will go on to your character, <clears throat> and the four with the shivs are gonna surround. Oh, the no, <laughs> four. Oh, He's the unarmored guy. Being oh, skewered. Now, they, because they're, I'm using the scum thing for them, because that's basically what they are. Uh, they get to cheat, which means they can use their stealth instead of ballistic skill and weapon skill for the first round. Hmm? Their oh. stealth is seven, as opposed to their ballistic skill and weapon skill, which is five. <laughs> so I'm gonna be rolling a seven. So let's do the stubbers against you first. Now I get to add. Uh, yeah, one extra because it's. Is it one for every? I think it's one for every additional action. mob. Right. Man. Up to a maximum of half of them, which in this case would be two, so I can do the two. I'm rolling lots of dice. What's your defense? I'm two. defense the two? Oh, no, not you. Sorry. So I get one, two, <coughs> and I can shift three dice. Oh my. Mm. Okay, and I'm not going to reroll that. So our stubbers are seven plus one extra die, so I got four extra dice. So we're looking at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. Or two sixes. <laughs> Jeez. Okie dokie. What's your resilience with your flak armor? Eight. Oh, so you take three. That's pretty good. I'll just take three wounds. Three wounds? Are you going to be heavily wounded by that? Or no, I won't even be lightly wounded because i got true grit. Oh, right. So how many wounds do you start with? Ten. You have ten wounds? Yeah. You took a lot. Yeah, the talents and all that. Goodness. Yeah, we went through that last week. I'm sure it seems, this sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so you take three wounds, so you don't even count as lightly wounded. Nope. So you just feel it just kind of opens up, and dick, 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 you start to take a few shots, but you feel okay. I got shot by bigger calibers as part of my training. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then we have the ones going against you. Hurrah. I'm defense three. Hopefully defense that. three? Yeah. You're hit. Yeah, same number of dice because the extra one help. Defense three. Oh, I don't get the shift. Ah, look at that. I rolled. Defense three. I got four. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Three? Oh, I get to shift one. Because I, ro I rolled five and one, I got two sixes. <coughs> so shifting one. These are, now these are just your shivs. Strength. So look at strength five plus three extra dice now. The strength five. Well, there's there's strength three. Sorry. Strength three plus the shiv. Right. So five yeah. plus three extra dice. Five, yeah. six, seven, eight. Eight damage. Yeah, I rolled a four and a six and a one. Okay. Eight damage. What is your resilience? Uh, five. So you take three wounds. Or you uh, can try to soak it if you want. I will try and soak. So that's... Uh, you lose a shock automatically. So I'm down to six shock, and I ignore two of that damage. I take one damage and two, three shock in total. Okay. So it's come at you and start attacking you from all angles. All right, who's next? How's your shock so high? I can't remember the... <coughs> the oh, was the home roll thing? I can't remember what the equation for shock is. <coughs> I thought it was Did just you just put a random number in there? No. no, that's your soak. Yeah. Shock is willpower plus one, I think. Yeah. Or willpower plus tier. Oh, right. Okay, who's going next? I went up a shock. Uh, I guess had our two maulers go. Guess I'll go. You're going to go? Three. Just attack the mob and, as a pole. Yeah, attack hole. the mob. So you just kind of jump in there. Ah! Start shanking everybody. All right, their defense is three. Uh, so I got... No, don't, worry, don't worry about shifting. Just tell me your total. It's three... Four, five, six, seven total. So three. That hits three of them. And with your shiv, what's your damage? Uh, the shiv is two damage plus one extra dice. Plus your strength. Oh. Uh, plus my strength, so it's four. Oh. Well, your strength is two? So my strength is four. So it's six. One. So, so six, yeah. Okay, so you don't have to roll. <clears throat> Their resilience is only five. Okay. So you killed three of them. Yeah. We're going to randomize which ones. All three with shivs. So there's four of them left. <laughs> Three with stubbers, one with the ship. Who's next? I'm done. So <laughs> everybody gets their actions. And there's enough of them that everybody can wade into this combat if they like. I think it's my back. Okay. I'm going to try and intimidate them. You're going to do an interaction attack? Yep. Okay, it's going to be plus two difficulty. Yep. Their intimidation is five. So they use their default. So it'll be difficulty seven. So this is interaction attack. Basically, you can do intimidation or persuasion, and it just distracts them. This is where my hand falls off for some reason. <laughs> oh, no. So difficulty seven is your heavily oh, part of the scene. You're like, hey, you! Oh. Yeah, only three. You know complication? No. Okay, so nothing happens. All right, pretty boy, what are you going to do? I'm going to move up. going to look at the floor. Hey, a stubber. Use my simple action to pick up the stubber. And since I'm engaged, I'm just going to shoot him. It is a pistol, so you can use it in close combat, but it uses your, your weapon, weapon skill. skill. Yeah. That's, they're the same to me. Okay. Yeah. I believe uh, in you. What? Uh, so automatically toss a glory. We got a glory oh, yeah. from that six. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. You don't add the glory for no, the No, it's a critical. critical hit. Yeah, because you, <clears throat> you said it was just a critical for me, but I, I couldn't remember. So. Yeah. Where do you get the glory, too? It seems. I thought you. I think you'd get the Pop. glory as well. Pop. Hold on, let me just check. I'm hoping you can kill two there. Let's fire one spell over. Oh, yeah, five. That's right. Nice. <laughs> oh. You guys didn't think to pick up the stubbers. Well, I didn't have a chance. And by you guys, I mean just you. Right? <laughs> what what, what you been doing on your turn? I was looking at my character. I killed Yeah, you get a point of glory, and it counts as a critical hit. Whoop. So toss the glory. So we have one glory now. And and critical result. damage is... I didn't shuffle it. Was it the brutal one? It was the same one. Oh, that would just wipe up the... Yeah. Your mortal wounds spill over? No. Oh, that's right. Headshot! What? Oh, they nice. Take extra sense. D3 wounds. So, nothing, basically. How many, so, how many did you get in total? You should I got five total. So, two die. So, two die. Yeah. So, you just basically walk up, bam, bam, and two of them go down to headshot. Well, one of them is more dead. <laughs> more dead? He took a headshot. So, two of them. One of them had a shiv. So there's two of them left. They both have stubbers. Now that everybody's gone, so they have to see if they're going to run away. Uh, they're not very good at not running away. The resolve is pretty low. Only two. It's difficulty. Oh, I got four. I rolled double six. Okay, they stay. Hey. Uh, do we get to go first? Uh, yeah, new round. You always get to first. You know what, though? I got ruined for a reason. I'm spending a ruin. Oh, man. To let them go first. We use the glory to interrupt that? You can't, unfortunately. Oh, you automatically get to go, I can use one to then go first. Okay. 
So the two of them that are left, now they were attacking you, the ones with the shivs. Yeah, they're getting staggered. Now they might switch. They don't switch. Oh, they better not. So they can only use their regular weapon skill now, which is just five, but they have the one extra helping. No. So they're attacking. What's your defense? Uh, three. They get three exactly. Hey, nice. No well, shivs. There's the stubbers though. left. No stubbers left. No stubbers left. Okay. These are two guys with shivs. The stabby boys. So we're looking at um, five damage plus. <coughs> I rolled a six. Two. So seven damage. What's your resilience? Five. So you take two more wounds. I'll try and. Yeah, I'll It'll cost I'll... you shock just to say you're soaking. I'll just. If you fully soak, you'll become exhausted. You're only exhausted at like zero. Right. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll soak again. Oh. Nope. So you lose a shock and two wounds. Oh, what a bad. Unless roll. you want to wrath and reroll those. No. No, I'm heavily damaged now, though. Heavily wounded? Yeah. Okay, who wants to go next? Well, now that I'm heavily... Can I get Can I get revenge on them? Can I vengeance on their face? <clears throat> go for you it. You all get to go now. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I want to get go first? Go. They made a mistake. Get you swing with your shock mall? You don't get the extra dice anymore. Yeah, I just get the eight. Hey, just defense eight. three. Uh, they get off the f I'm heavily wounded, so they defense five Yes, now? they're defense five. Huh! Oh! Uh, well, I do hit, but only one. So I got five. Plus oh, one. Six. So you got six. So you yeah. only hit one. So you kill one. So there's only one left. <laughs> so you just, boom, knock another one to the ground. So who's going to try to finish off I'll the last one? i take a swing. As his shiv is still in me. Uh, yeah, I got him. You're not heavily... Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You no, know, the wounds. You don't care oh. about the wounds you've taken. That's what I meant. Freudian also, stuff. we don't care about you. Yeah, I we care, also I care, care about you. <laughs> yeah, so I hit five. You got him. Yeah. All right, so you knock him to the ground, and he dies as well. Okay. <clears throat> Ouch! You yep. toss them with a group of ten, and you came out on top. So you searched their bodies, I'm assuming. Yes. We're yes. not going to do an awareness test, don't worry. No complications here. You do find five stubbers. Ooh, nice. I assume we can all Now, I want one person to do an awareness test. Got to see this will help with reloads. I got awareness seven. Luca is the most aware. But I, you're also wounded. That's true. It's the oh, I got awareness six, and I'm not wounded. So yours is. So basically, what we're going to do here is it's going to be a difficulty three to find any reloads. Otherwise, they only have the ammo that's in them, which means you can't spend any reloads. Anything like complications with the guns would, and out of ammo, you just don't get any. And every shifted die will be another reload. Okay. So difficulty three, you said. You want to do it? I assume you were fine with me doing it. You group. Nothing, so we'll yeah. yeah. Okay. Range. Woo. Hmm. So you get a glory. You got, a rat, you got your wrath die with a six, yep. so throw that over there. You got two glory now. And so you can shift one of them. You rolled three sixes, so you got six. So you found two reloads. Okay. Just two reloads total then? Yeah, we're just going to call them reloads. We're going to keep them simple right now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we've got, we've got some extra so you basically, ammunition. You basically right? assemble enough ammunition. The, all of you, as you're going through, assemble enough ammunition to get two reloads worth. But not each. Two reloads. Oh, just two reloads. So who's got them? <clears throat> Obviously, you have one of them at least. Yeah. I'm just hoping we find a set, an extra stubber so I can throw the shiv away. Oh, you still got one stubber. Wow. Okay, the, Who's got I, the other reload? Who wants to take the other reload? I'm not too concerned. I got a shock maul, so I'm still I would pretty say useful the two trained soldiers take it. Sure, I'll take right. it. I'm Having two pistols won't help you. Having yeah. a close combat and a pistol will help you. Well, you can't do two cool. shots. But you can do a shot and a melee attack. That's true. Yeah, maybe get plus two difficulty. That's kind of cool. As far as I could tell, there was no rule for having two pistols. Maybe there's a gunslinger rule. I don't think. I think ta there's a talent. There's like a, a talent. If there's a talent, that makes more sense. It probably people, gives you like plus two dice. It's, yeah, because most people would have a harder time firing two guns than actually an easier time. But they wouldn't look nearly as cool. Right. That's true. <laughs> uh, I just saw dual wielding. Okay. Anyway, so. But having uh, you can you can so you can have because all your shock malls the shock malls are one handed. Yeah. So I'm like I'm a fully equipped. Well, other than lack of armor, I'm pretty hurting now though too. So who's got the other reload? I use those them. Okay, so make sure you keep track of that reload. Yeah. Separate from all the other equipment that you <coughs> think you start with. Huh. Okay. Is it cool? What are we doing now? I don't know if that's cool. Or not. Uh, we recollect ourselves and we keep moving. Obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there, we, uh, There's still commotion, I assume, down the hall. It's died down a bit. As the you number can, of it's, it's, it seems like it. this was this group right here. 
um, as you as you continue, they seem to they, they were a big part of that commotion. Like they were like the re or the remnants of this large group. So like there was a big riot going on, and these were the remainder that were around here. Were their eyes open or closed on these on this group? These they were open. They were just they were regular. They're just fighting you. They're just <laughs> prisoners trying to take advantage of the situation. As far as you can tell, you yeah, didn't kill them all. Solid so plan. You can't interrogate any of them because you killed them all. Well, that's fine. They were not in bird box. I don't think they had time to loot the two guards. They just murder killed. Yeah, let's go. Uh, keep on. Uh, keep on down this corridor. You want to check out those guards? Yep. See what they. Yeah, have. just punch me, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who's searching the guards? <laughs> I want that second stubborn bad. I'll all right, give me an awareness DN three test. Hey, how about five? Can you shift? Yes. Do you want to throw it as glory, or do you want to shift it for a better result? I'll shift it for a better result. Okay. So normally I would say what you can do to do this, but I have a plan better result if you shift it. So would you like to come up with something, or do you want me to use my plan better result? I would like to hear your plan better result. No, no, no you don't get to hear it. I would, like to he I would like to hear it as the de facto thing that's okay. happening. Okay, <laughs> <It happens. laughs> um, So basically, as you search them, you um, unfortunately, you, the the only weapons that they were carrying seemed to be some of the stubbers that the guys were running back with. But you do find an extra reload Ooh. and a frag grenade. Ooh. Not primed. <laughs> Hello. Visibly recoiling. <laughs> <laughs> frag grenade. Oh, left handed. You got a problem with my handedness? It's just weird to watch. I, are you from the 1700s? <laughs> And I'll give my one reload to Luca. So you don't have any reloads Ooh. still? Yeah. Appreciate it. Do you want a card for the frag grenade or you just want to? That's okay. I'll, I'll find it. Okay. It's good. Well, well frag grenade, I can, it's, yeah. If you want to, I can tell you what it is. Next quarter. So you can throw it up to, up to four times your strength in meters. Ooh. So what's your strength? Uh, three. So, it can so you can throw up to 12 meters. Six inches. It's just a like real blast grenade. medium, which can hit up to three targets. And its damage is 10 plus 1. Oh, it's the same profile as a plasma grenade? Plasma grenade? Plasma grenade is... The same thing, but minus 1 AP. Oh, really? Plasma grenades just get a minus 1 AP, that's it? They're not really that great. They right? go from common to very rare, and all it does is adds on a minus well, Because that's it's like an Eldar, Eldar thing. One, yeah. yeah, it's the Eldar grenade. It's not like an actual Imperium plasma gun. Oh, I see. It's a plasma of a different sort. I see. More stable. So, so like, like, we're not going to have our your primitive... You know, gunpowder flinging little shrapnel. We're just going to have our higher level engine and energy, which just happens to be the same amount of kinetic energy. But as it's as more contained. contained. It's a little hot. It, yeah. it, it's more contained, so it's a little more calm down. Sure. It goes from common to very rare, but yeah, for one extra AP, totally makes sense. Crack grenade is uncommon, and yet vastly superior to both. Woo! Crack grenades are spooky. I guess it's because it's Eldari that it's very rare. Right. It's, I, get it's, it's, it's I get it. I get it. I get it. A lot of manufactured grenades. I can't wait to find a boss pattern grenade launcher. So you can start loading up your grenades. Thunk, yeah. Thunk, thunk. I love grenade bouncing. Okay. Balls. So you found a frag grenade and a reload. He has a reload. I took the reload. All right. Carry on. Carry forth. Carry on. Carry forth. Mosey forward. Down the corridor, right? It's only, the only uh, other than that is just corridor. Unfortunately, the next door is locked. Oh, nani? <laughs> <It's not. laughs> so basically, you've come to the end of all the open doors. Uh huh. And we didn't find any data slates on those guards. You didn't look. Well, well those guards didn't have any data slates. Yeah. What? What about the new guards? You want to go back and look for through the, for data slates again? Yeah, we need them. <laughs> there's, this is the only door to go, right? There's nothing. There's no side doors. Just cells and doors. You're, you're still in the cell area. Yeah. The okay. Cell block area. So you pass the one guard post, and there doesn't seem to be a guard post at this one. We have to double back and scour through the bodies to find another. Uh, now, one thing you never did in the other guard posts that I'll just mention is that you never really you looked for the guard, through the guard posts for objects, but you never looked for it for anything else. Ooh, like I did God. mention that there was a couple of view screens yeah. and controls as well, but you never uh, inspected those. That's true. So you could go all the way back there and check that out, or you can try to hack this panel. I guess that realistically, it's not that far back. Or you could. The other thing that crosses your mind is uh, if it's locked, then maybe you're a little safe in this spot, and you could. Try a regroup. That will be lovely. The longer we wait, the more enticing it becomes to loot our stuff for somebody say, else. The, the, yeah, the longer we wait, the more this whole fiasco degenerates. Yeah, of course. <laughs> there, are, obviously. 
but at the same time, it will allow shock to be restored and additional Medicaid tests to be done to see if people can get some loot back. It's a hard choice. That's true. Uh, uh, because if I'm right, things are only going to get worse over time. Hey, you can still hear um, fighting beyond the door, but not like just right beyond the door. There's, n there's no picked up fighting from the direction we came from, right? There's nothing over here. It seems that, because when you guys came out of your cell, the one door was locked and the other one was oh, open. Okay. So you've basically gone along a string of cells that were all open together, and, and there, was the a big, there was a big riot going on, and you've basically <coughs> followed the sound until the, the last remaining guards and mob. It wouldn't take that long for us to go back. No, because it's, it's not that far back. It was, it was the no, no, you're not. Prolonged it. It's just a few minutes back. Yeah, so go back, go back to that. We there. Well, right here it's locked too. So yeah, we're heading back as a group, or do you want to set up a defensive little posture here and hold this Ooh, that while sounds, other people go back? That sounds cool. We have no way. We have no way of comms though, so I don't suggest that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back as a group. Yeah. If we had comms, we'll go back. Yeah, it's we should never split so you up want the squad. <laughs> so you want to regroup back at your your cell? No, back to the, the guard room, the guard location. Okay. Yeah. So you head back to the guard room. So you're not doing a regroup. Uh, no, not yet. No, no. We're gonna go to where all the cameras are on the screens, and maybe unlock the door from there. Okay. So you possible. head back into that guard room. Now it's not very big; can only fit a couple people. Sure. You see the dead bodies, the male and female. They see you. Both They're still dead. Initiative. They're still dead. So who's gonna be doing the inspecting of the, not me. the 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 cogitators and stuff inside of this room? The Abigail does, or you still have the wounded? I'm still heavily wounded. <laughs> oh, you have eight though intact. Yeah. I mean, so I'm probably still. You're still down to six. All not like, down to six. It's plus two. I know, yeah. but there's like, a difference. It's, it's not the to same. Pair amongst the group though. <laughs> What's that? No, because it's not the easiest way. Because each of your dice, on average, is only adding. Yeah. Point five successes. Yeah. So, getting two difficulty is like losing four dice. Yeah. Although there's some sixes in there to kind of right. Plus six, so it's not <laughs> What's everyone else's tech though? My so tech seven. is plus three. Also seven. Or three, sorry. Just three. Yeah. But I'm an amazing pilot. If you don't have the tech skill, then you're not really going to be able to operate anything. I'm not going to let you make rolls for this kind of stuff. You just, you just don't know how to use yeah. them. You're, you're an old geezer trying to use a computer for the first time. You just don't know how. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to set up in the hallway and just watch the only do corridors. It. Nope. It's one of you two, but heavily wounded, so probably... I'm not even to, lightly wounded. You're going to try to figure it out? Yeah, let's see. Now, well. you, are, you are more familiar with the inner workings of um, onboard space computers. So I'll give you a plus one for this as well. Oh, I was going to say, I could try assisting on it too. So you want to try to assist? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So That's if you want to kind of go in there and look at it too, you're just kind of heaving a bit as you're looking at it. Yeah. So the, the, the difficulty of tapping into it, it's not locked, <clears throat> but it's more just trying to find any information that would be useful before. And so yours is six. Why don't you make yours yep. first? And if you you don't need a rast eye for this because you're assisting. Right. You can't complicate. And shifting, no shifting helps. It gives additional dice. Uh, can't you, quite shift, but yeah, I passed. You passed. Okay, so you get an extra die there. Boop. Kanye. Kanye. You know, I just Boop. caught on that that's just a version of your name. Uh, that's why I switched it to Kanye. Ken oh, it's Kenya. It's Kenya, yeah, but it's just. All right, so I got arranged. seven and, and a shift. You needed four. Uh, seven and two shifts. So, or, uh, so you passed it. Yeah. So you passed it, and you were able to shift twice. Yeah. That's what would it. you like those shifts to be? Uh, more information. Well, you know what? Let me let me let me tell you what the success is, and then you decide. Sure. We'll talk about what the shifts are. <laughs> sure. So essentially, you're able to tell that this this guard room operates the nearby cells. Unfortunately, it does not open the door with the regular that you guys were looking to open. Uh, there's a guard room. You do see that there's a guard room up next to that one on the other side of that door. That's why that one was closed. Mm. So you can tell you can tell that somebody hacked into this panel in particular and mm. opened up all the cell blocks that you were in. So this is the guard room for this series of cell blocks. And when you look at the um, the monitors, it just it just cycles through all of the rooms that you've already been in. So it doesn't go further than that. So that's the basic <laughs> Of as you go into it, but as you hack deeper into the system, oh, I'm in, and you go past the second bleepy bleep firewall. Uh, firewall. Um, what is it that you would like to find? I would like to find the location of Brander. 
Ooh. Okay. And what else would you like? You have two shifted dice there. I want to be able to remotely hack the terminal on the other side of that door. Okay, that one's a definite yes. And you want to know where Brander is in particular. So you're looking for some sort of manifest? <laughs> yeah, he's got a guard ID, I'm sure. You just see him walk past him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in here all along. Now, thankfully, you didn't. none of the guards that you've come across that are dead were Brander. Thank, thankfully. Well, of course. <laughs> Brander, man. Hey, um, he might be coming with us. Boyd's been brand new. I hey, I can definitely get. I can definitely let you hack that one door. That seems fine. Knowing where Brander is, you know what? Sure. Yeah. Sure. We're gonna say that he is nearby. Like as you as you hack into it deeper, you're able to cycle through a few more monitors, and you cycle to one, and you can see him with a couple other guards, with a bunch of overturned furniture and other stuff currently, and just shooting with their auto guns down a passageway. They're holding off a mob. Currently. Oh, we need to go fast. And it seems to be on the other side of that door. All right. I'm taking control of this. But at, the, at the moment, you can see them shoot, and then they're, they've, they've stopped. So they're, they currently have gunned down the mob that is currently. Oh, okay, them. good. Well, you're then sure, we're not going to sprint in there because we'll get shot. We're going to walk in. Have you found the new dad? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what this is all about? Yeah. My old dad took my ship away. So I need a new dad. That's Brander. Yeah. There's okay. Brander. <laughs> Brander. Yeah, so they seem to be holed up in a little location. And you're not able to tell any, anything further than that. And you were able to hack the other console? Yeah. And you were able to get, you are able to download the information onto a, a data pad, a data slate, so that you can go, you don't, you can't open the door from here, but now you have the, you've reprogrammed the password and the, the data slate, so you can open up that door with it. Let's do it. You guys ready to move forward? Yep. Gotta use that door. So awesome. you're, not do, you're not doing a regroup then? No, we're gonna we're gonna hold up with Brander and do a regroup. No, uh, yeah, time certainly feels of the essence. I like it. Well, we might be getting Forward. one plus some allies right now. Forward to the door. To the door. Everybody's oh. in agreement. Yep. Okay. I don't know what do you do, right? Yeah. I'm voted. I'm, I'm just gonna regroup <laughs> back here, guys. Ow! It's Everything ow. hurts. I know. I'm heavily wounded. This seems very reckless, but I like it. <laughs> you're, you're I'm heavily wounded. wounded. This seems reckless. I don't like it. And you're well, lightly wounded. I know you don't count. Imagine it, the next mob all has auto guns instead. <laughs> that, yeah, that's okay. the future we're looking at if we don't team up. Yeah. You saw. Sorry. You saw him with an auto gun. The other two were just firing like regular pistols oh, and stuff. But yeah, like he, def he definitely had an auto gun. <laughs> Once we get our yeah. equipment, we're fine. Okay. So you head back to the door. And, um, yeah, you know that he's not far from this door. His back is probably two, like, from what you can tell. He, he's a couple of rooms down past this door with his back <coughs> to the door. And he's, like, throwing down stuff. Like, he, the food cart's overturned. Oh, no. And, <laughs> and he's, he's, they're using that as, like, a makeshift cover to fire down the corridor. The porridge. The porridge. <laughs> and it's the all over. <laughs> the gruel. The stew. All right. So his back's to this door. We're going through. Let's do it. So you said he's about two doors in? Did you just psych yourself up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No one else the is door. doing it. You said he's two he's doors back up? there. I believe so. That's okay. what I heard. All right. It seems that way. Yeah. You can't, you're not 100% sure, but he seems like just once you open it, you'll probably be able to see him. Open it up. All right. I'm going to open it. All right. So it opens up. And as it opens up, you can see um, just two <coughs> rooms down. Sure enough, it's exactly what you saw on the monitor. There's the three of them. And as it opens, you see them start to turn around. I yell, Voidsman Brander! <laughs> Your time of service has come! Right, give me a persuasion check. Now, um, we're going to ship this back to neutral because of the other two that are with them. So you're looking at DN3, and this is to avoid them automatically shooting at you. Not because yeah. they don't like you, but because they're just assuming that you're more prisoners. Yeah. Does he recognize you? I DN3. got more than three. Four. So no shifts? No shifts. Okay. So he turns around and he's about to unload and he and he hesitates just in time. And he's like, ah, and the other the other two are about to fire and he just he holds his hand, he's like, just he goes, Hold hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire. And, and, and are, are you guys now you all have stubbers, so I should have asked what you were doing with those before we did this roll. They were I, I would assume like the kind of readied, but low down, ready. not up. Right. Yeah. Kind of like like the whole this kind of thing. Yeah. Right. That's if you're holding a shock mall. So. <laughs> yeah, the whole kind of like John Wick. Yeah. Uh, not like this. Well, then you're lucky that I didn't ask that question beforehand because I probably would have made it difficulty five, and I think you would have failed that. Maybe. 
Might be just my last rap. It's like a toy in my hand. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. What am I going to do with this? Okay, so they stop. Well, I look up, turn around. What sector are we in? Wait, what cell block are you in? You're yeah. still in Alpha Brig. I mean, like, we were in 262-D. Uh, Where are we now? Oh, you're like at 241A. All right. We're making progress. Obviously. Uh, Obviously. We're going somewhere. Clearly. Uh, you didn't, but when you came in, it's not like, there. it's like apartment numbers. It's not like there's 200 cell blocks. Like, when you first came in, the first There's just, like, 200 was. cells. Maybe. Oh, or whatever. No, no, no. We're on I mean, the second like, floor of cells. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something like that. Like, yeah. it's, it's more like it's the numbers mean something together. It's not like they're all... They are sequential, but... Then I'll mention 262-D through 241-A are cleared. Good to go. Do you want to say that you're going to mention, or do you want to mention it? I do. I say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Minus the words I mention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's like, what are you guys doing to your cell? Oh, and, you know they're all open. Lower your lower your weapons. He is still he is still. He's, like, you can see that he's he's like unnerved. this much or no? Put him down. Put that. Put your weapons down immediately. The actually, are still holding. I'm gonna put it here. in my pants. She's gonna, gonna tuck it. Tuck it. In, you know, do you have pants? Yeah. yeah. Oh my has got pants. <laughs> he's got jail trousers. <laughs> oh right. We're in like a jail suit onesie. You're in a onesie. I'm like jumpsuit. one moment. Zip. Reach up. <laughs> zip down. <laughs> Tuck it. <laughs> Zip a little bit. You tuck it in your underwear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's too safe. These tubbers don't have safeties. Yeah, there's not much I can do about this. <laughs> We're talking bare bone weapons, not even safeties on these. Yeah, if I, if I get a complication now, <laughs> oh, I think my oh. dynasty ends. <laughs> <laughs> no posterity for you. What about the rest of you? What are you doing? I'll, I'll, I'll lower my weapons. I say, I try, try to, you know. Make the group lower the weapons too. I'll willingly lower my weapons. Yeah, lower. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Who has the frag grenade? Where do you have that tucked? <laughs> uh, I have it attached to the vest that I stole. <laughs> like Velcro. <laughs> yeah. The guard vest. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Oh. There's probably a little pocket. There's Auxiliary pouch. Yeah. Yeah. Auxiliary pouch is a little bulge of a frag grenade. Uh, then he he kind of comes up and he's like, he's like, oh man, this whole place is. Has, has has gone. It's just it, it, there's there's riots everywhere. I, what? How did you guys survive? Someone opened our cells. Rogue Trader, Catachan, Mordian, Ghetto Rat, <laughs> <coughs> Guy. Very fresh better than needing my daddy for everything. <laughs> yep. Didn't need my daddy to break you out of prison. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I got everyone out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> and I would. I am going to say this now, all right? Probably would have had more gun power if you just helped us out of our prison cell earlier. Yeah. Well, you know, hindsight and all. Well, we're here to save you now. Uh, okay. Well, let's it looks like I'm the one with the auto gun. Hey. Yeah. Okay, enough squabbling. What's going on here? Yeah. Now we're on I don't know. The, the doors is all of a sudden open and a bunch of the cells and the prisoners came out and there was a huge riot. And uh, as far as, like, there's lots of people dead. Oh uh, yeah, our terminal was hacked and it opened all of the cells. <clears throat> I learned that when I hacked the terminal. So, <laughs> what, are you saying you're the one that's responsible for opening up all the cells? Uh, no, I'm no. the second man to hack it. Ah, they were Or maybe the hacked. fourth, I don't know. I'm surprisingly okay with that. So what's, what's, your, <laughs> what's your current objective, Commander? <clears throat> I, I don't know, we were trying to get word and I, I've lost Where's communication. With, command? I We've lost communication. I'm not sure if people aren't people aren't responding. Um, their boxes are down or whatever it is, but uh, this, everything has gone to chaos. No, that's an interesting choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I scowled at him a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna promote the other two guys to temporary voidsmen. We're going for a hike. Yeah, we're gonna, and I kind of look over. At objective the, one: we need <clears> to retrieve <throat> our equipment. As a very brand important brand information in our equipment. You'll believe. You have to take our word for it, but we're on an important mission. Oh, I am a confirmed rogue trader. That's true. <coughs> confirmed, right, Brandon? Yeah. yeah Brandon. Well. <laughs> there, there's, there's some paperwork in there. Yeah. Uh, not sure if I'd officially call you a rogue trader, but uh, the paperwork does link you to one. It's my dad, okay? <laughs> the Dominus Crusade and all that. Well, I'm all for that, but uh, I don't know where your equipment is. 
the best place to figure that out is to go back to the records <coughs> office. That's if, where we were heading. If the riot hasn't spread there and killed all the scribes. I guarantee it has. <laughs> so we're going to have to kill somebody who has the information. It's going to be a lot of walking and shooting, I think. Yeah, we're we'll at the final one. A little runny out. gunny. In the meantime, is there any access to more advanced weapons? Than Stubber and Prison Shank? <laughs> <laughs> we may do, but we would like well, to... Well, you got a shock maul, bud. You're good to go. Yeah, yeah. You, see, you seem to have done pretty well for yourself. Unfortunately, as you can probably guess from a riot, any guards who were killed have also been disarmed, and uh, those weapons have been passed on to any of the mob. There's no nearby locked-up armory? Uh, nearby, no. We're in the prison section. You don't typically have an armory right in the middle of the prison section. That's fair. Um, having said that, uh, he's, if we can get out of here... Which were, as you can tell, you remember how long it took us to get through all this. We got a long walk. We got we got a ways to get out of here. Uh, we've just pacified the closest mob. We can still hear the sounds of fighting from, from the distance. But um, I guess we can be allies of convenience for the next little while. But it doesn't mean that you're all free to go afterwards. It just means that maybe maybe there'll be some leniency. There'll be a little more clarity once we find our equipment. Well, you know what? I don't seem to have much choice in the matter right now. That eight is better than three. Is all right, I'm that's saying. literally it. All, all we can rely the on. The first sign of backstabbing, and I'll unload this auto gun right in your pretty faces. Yeah, I get it. We have a Katachan with us. They like to stab people in the back, <laughs> not the front. All right. No okay. response. <laughs> He's got nothing. Yeah. Uh, what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> You're Is not that true? wrong. We, we, we know we know the direction to the offices, right? <clears throat> we still remember how we. It's, it's, it's like a maze a to you line. guys. All right, but I know. assume at this point, it, is it still just straight corridor at this point? It doesn't no, branch no, off. It, well, even once you, when you went to the the administratum, the, the administratum office, yeah. and you came out of it, there was a maze that you went through before right. you got to the prison. When I say maze, I don't mean literal maze. I just mean that you're just left, going right, and out left, of straight, so many straight, different yeah. places that it would be hard to... And, and, and some of the corridors don't make any sense either. Now, do you know the way to the offices? Uh, yes. I'm just... All right. Hopefully, who knows how much is between <clears> us and there. No, I think it's in our best interest we get there as soon as possible. Well, let's we'll clean out this generates. sector and then regroup. Yeah, there's eight uh, of us. That's better than three, but there are hundreds of prisoners and... Oh no, hundreds of prison shivs versus actual guns. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be mostly uh, fine. Uh, well, from what I've been fighting, this hasn't all been shivs. <laughs> no, they, are, they are finding better armor. That is where we so far, we gun. haven't come across anything we weren't able to gun down. Well, he, look, he looks around, you can see a few dead guards. Well, not all of us, obviously. But. Uh, and do any of these guards, are they physically large enough for me to use their armor? <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a luck mechanic. Right? right? right. Yeah. Like, Sproll me dice, and let's see. Hey, you can just do 50-50, four up, or even like 33%. Percent. You can spend one wrath and make a narrative declaration. There you go. That's true. I, 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 I will. That, you know what? I will spend a wrath, and like it so ha so happens that... One of the guards nearby is huge. Yeah. And his armor is not too torn. Officer Clegane's armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I guess you could use that one over there. Yep. Yep. If you want to spend a wrath, I'll give you one. I'm happy two. to wait. I want to use something like that. Well, it is... 4.16, the session's almost over, and your mm. wrath expires, and you get two new ones at the oh. beginning of that session. I guess I'll spend that. Oh, look, it's just so happy. Two giant guards! <laughs> <laughs> two giant No, one medium giant and one large giant. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, they were just bigger targets, so they died first. Yeah, they died first. A little it, torn It just up. so happened that they both lifted on that day. <laughs> <laughs> they were gym bros. <laughs> <laughs> so you both get the equivalent of two armor. Um, Help you stay a little more alive. So everybody's got the equivalent of two armor right now, right? right? Crossfit buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Space will flex. <laughs> Space <laughs> reps. <laughs> you have to actually work a little harder because gravity's not quite as high on the cell. I was going to say, could you like go into a chamber, like in a, in a future gym, and they lower, the, they increase the gravity, so everything's so much harder? <laughs> what, is this ball? Yeah. <laughs> what is this the hyperbolic time chamber? <laughs> it turns out everyone's lost Dragon Ball Z. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Luca. You know what? Probably, actually, that would make sense. I'm kidding. Cool. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have to invest in more weights. You just push ups. <laughs> you just. Yeah. You just. You just <laughs> It's just push-ups get harder. Can I do that? Push oh, look, push hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> push-ups and squats, right? Yeah, literally. Right? And, and shit-ups. Just, uh, just body weight. Stuff. You just increase it by like 10% every couple weeks. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. That would actually be... Yeah. Yeah, if anything, they'd have to like lower the gravity in the prison area. 
keep them from getting too small. You keep the crystals buff. from getting too small? We gotta have to be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant, though. Just like have them deteriorate a little bit. They're they start bending bars. <laughs> <laughs> it is 417, so this seems like a good place to stop. So we're going to dim the music and so go to the chat. <coughs> Okay. Although, I guess we should do our outro, and then we'll do the chat stuff. <coughs> Just know. throw a tree wrath right now to find something. Oh, look at an autocannon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. My, yeah. my campaign card didn't come up that much. Oh, I was waiting for it, but... Well, hold on, we'll get to that in a second. So first off, thank you so much for watching. We're going to be doing more Wrath and Glory every oh, Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we'll post it afterwards on YouTube on the following Friday. Um, so if you want to see us more of this, please make sure to subscribe to Twitch or become a vault member, or however you'd like to support us, that would be great so that we can continue doing more role-playing shows such as this one. Thanks so much for watching. Happy role-playing.